only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. Never fold. Lord to the game and the bankroll. We gon' add it up when we get low. I know my life is black, I'm a chat pro. All in, let's go. Monday through Friday, what should we do? Catch the streaming live right on YouTube. SCL family, this is our house. Keating on the show, bet it all now. J Boogie, walk away, never overplay. Max value, max pain, this is not a game. Hit that thumbs up, let's go for a ride. Come and join the stream, we're starting at five. Raise it up. Chat Pro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hustler Casino Live, a special edition tonight. We have part two of a game from two Fridays ago that is now 100, 200, 400. That's Brad right there. If you don't know Brad, you're going to know him soon. Welcome to Hustler Casino Live. My name is Ryan Feldman. I am with the legend himself, Blank Check Ben, who's going to be playing in the Million Dollar Game tomorrow. We're walking right into a 100K pot here. And Not Brad, wasting any time, are we? Brad just value bet 80K into 106, and Brad continues to be on fire. Now, we, we, started, or we started this game as a continuation from last game, and look at the numbers. This is a continuation. So going into this, Brad was already crushing. He is now, after that hand, up $443,000. Mariano left. He is not here for the second part. He won over 300K. Uh, and those are the numbers. Andy is absolutely buried. Look at Andy. He's down 652,000. He's going to try to claw his way back. Bobo down 352,000. Uh, he had that big hand against Mariano where he had ace king and Mariano had aces, if you remember that. Brad, of course, scooped with 5 6 suited. And there's Dennis Dave, there's Francisco, there's Charles, Wesley, Andy, Brad, Bobo, and Nick Airball. We got an eight-handed game, deep stacks, one, two, four. This is a great game to warm us up. For Brad the started game. with 100,000, didn't he? He reloaded for 100 and uh, is now in for 200. 200. Yep. 200. Brad put on an incredible show in part one. So he was in for 200, and he within, I think it was 17 minutes, he ran up less than 100K stack at that point, up to over 700K. Have you ever done that before? I have not. That's gotta be some kind of record. Are we allowed to trial on the button? You can. Uh, not, not in this game, right? I think uh, Brad can if he's done uh, five case straddles a bunch. Uh, uh, okay. Let's make the rule, the minimum straddle. Yeah, how about minimum? Uh, and I, I, I can't help but feel for Andy no, no. Okay. So here. No, I've been where he is right now. Uh, I can just tell he's frustrated. I can just tell his head is going into a dark place. Yeah. Let's see if he can turn it around. The, Andy's been in this situation multiple times in his career. Maybe not the exact same amount, but relatively speaking, he has been buried, like super buried, or as you would say, hippo buried. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> and he always finds a way back out of it. Brad just opened to 5K on the button. So he wanted to straddle 5K on the button, but then they said no button straddle. So it folded around to him and he just opened to 5K. And remember the blinds are 100, 200, 400. Do you, when Andy's flatting the small blind with A6 off for 5K in a 400 big blind game, do you think he's on tilt? He is on tilt. Andy is on tilt. We have a 10K straddle for Brad. Oh my God. Me too. Five more chips, buddy. Buckle up. This is going to get juicy. Brad is special. I like his style. What a guy. Let's just play. I don't think we need it. The game's not crazy. Game changes a lot. No need to do that. I do need that. I'm calling 10,000. Has Brad folded a hand yet? We had a bounty on the plate. Four of us were just doing it separately. Well, we'll see his VPIP in a bit for the entire night, including part one. I think it's like 78 or something like that. 
he is uh, he is he is in there. Speaking of in there, how about that shirt for Nick Erbo? <laughs> he uh, he is ever the fashion maven. What do you like better, the Nick Airball shirt or the champion hoodie for Francisco? Like, uh, 140. I like the champion hoodie from Francisco. Look at this. Look at this. Francisco just shoves Open over the 10K shove. straddle. So 10K straddle, 145K for Francisco. Charles calls. This is actually a good result for Francisco going against the same hand when you get called. Same hand, same hand. When you get called there, you're often dead. And you just open shove 145k and you get snap call. Ooh. Charles. a little bit. A lot of it. Oh. Oh, Francisco, your turn. Absolutely. Oh my God. Oh. Francisco had that. Francisco with the King of Diamonds. No, one quarter, one quarter. Oh, yeah. Oh. A sigh of relief from Charles and a collective sigh of relief from the rest of the table. As Francisco and Charles, Charles chop Charles. up Brad Straddle. And if Chris lost the chance, we should chop. I chop. You didn't say nothing. I don't. Right, for all those watching, this is a continuation of the game that happened two weeks ago. Oh, here. Yeah, I do it. We had to go off stream. Uh, the cameras had to stop rolling because the game went on until a very late hour. And this is What's part two. So I'll explain a little bit because there was obviously a lot of people that were enraged that we stopped. And, you know, certainly in hindsight, we could argue that we could have kept going. But uh, there, there was multiple reasons. So, um, I mean, the reasons no one's going to like. But, you know, we had an opportunity to get some recorded content because we we're about to have five straight days of games that are going to go 10 plus hours possibly. And we have, a we have a very small staff that works those games. And we needed off days before those games and then after as well. We had uh, some games for right after that we recorded, but we needed something for before. And we were originally going to record uh, last weekend um, some off-camera games to use, but due to certain circumstances and some technical things we had to fix on the set um, to get ready for this game, we weren't able to run games that weekend, so we saw this opportunity where, like, let's just record this. I know people will be upset, but let's let's bank this, and people are going to want to see this, and we can use it, and the hype will build up and all of that. So usually, in any other circumstance, we would just keep the stream going forever, but because a million-dollar game was coming up, and we weren't able to record the next weekend, we, uh, we used that opportunity, and I'm sure some people are upset, but hopefully you're relieved now that you get to watch the game, and it's a good way to relax and get ready for tomorrow's action. Uh, ben and I will be here answering your questions as well in any dull spots of this game but for now the game is action and we're excited about seeing some big pots i just want to see if andy manages to climb out of his hole he is down six hundred thousand dollars so if you're down over six hundred thousand right yeah i don't care anymore well first of all what's the most you've ever been buried mid-session in the game Honestly, about like 540. Okay, so let's say you're down, I'll use you as an example. You're down yeah. 540, okay? Now, first of all, your mindset can't be great, right? No. Um, do you look at it as like, I'm just gonna play? Do you look at it as, I wanna get even? Or do you look at it as like a goal you're setting where I just hope I get to this number? Nope, I will play. I will play until the very last player, player quits or until I get even. No, I'm not saying quitting. I'm just saying in terms of like, how do you set goals in your minds during that, during, in your mind during a session? Like I, that? I don't think about it, honestly. I don't think about it. When I'm, when I'm buried 500,000, I just can't think about anything logical. And here we have Brad with a gutter, and he takes it down. Logan asks, for tomorrow's game, do they have to have one million each on the table? Yes, it's a one million minimum buy-in. That's the minimum to get in the game. So 
So every single player is going to have at least a million to start the game. Now, obviously, if they start losing, they don't have to have a million later in the game. But to start the game, it's one million minimum. And if you bust and want to reload, it's 500k minimum. But each day, you have to start with a million. Do we think we could put together a 2k, 4k game with 2k, 100? 200k uh, min buy. Sure. Well, that's a short game. That's only 50 big lines. <laughs> so I don't know. Was like, uh, 2, <laughs> was like, sure. I don't know. So it's a, it's a different that's kind of poker than we're playing tomorrow, yeah, which is deep stack. Is so I think the players prefer Thanks, deep stack Thanks. poker. And I think it's better to watch as well. Charles you know, might like the, the short stack. Oh, shoving. Charles loves it. But I think that for the fans, tell me if I'm right. Do you guys want to see all in preflop every hand? Nines against ace queen and tens against ace jack, like every single hand. I think fans want to see post flop play. It's so much more entertaining. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Or right, we have a hand here. Brad just three bet from the straddle to, Ooh, ace, four bet. to ace seven suited. So, uh, all in. All in. Oh, that's a punt. All in and a call. Charles with pocket queens. Brad just punts 213k with a7 off. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a $427,000 pot. Queens. Not bad. Not bad. Just like that, Brad is punting off a third of his stack. Well, he has an ace. I mean, Charles is a two to one favorite to win a four hundred twenty seven thousand dollar pot. We just got started. This do think, game. Do you think is Brad's wild. thinking I'm at the top of my range? I can't fold. Oh, a lot of hearts. Oh, a lot of hearts. So Brad straddles. Charles opens from the big blind. Brad three bets. Charles four bets. Brad shoves. Oh. Look at this turn card. So many outs for Brad. He can an ace, a seven, or a heart. Seven is base, Charles is tilt. <laughs> mm. That's a lot of wasted outs for Brad. <laughs> a lucky Charles. escape yeah, yeah, yeah. for Charles. Like he bubble. is like heaving a sigh of relief. Ace <laughs> seven off doesn't do well in big pots on our show. Oh. All right. All right. There it is, right. the ace, never mind. Whoa. Can he dodge a queen? There's one queen left. Fair. Wow. There we have it. Very Charles fair. is chugging the water. Yep. Wow. Brad just escaped. He tried to punt up a third of his stack, but instead chopped a 427k pot. And Charles is disgusted. And Brad survives. Brad doesn't look like he cares at all. Man, every moment is a roller coaster for Brad. I mean, he went from stuck, he went from winning to a few minutes later, stuck 200K, and then 17 minutes later was up over 500K. Unbelievable. Don't worry. And now he chopped the 427K pot. What a guy. Okay. So Brad, Charles, and Bobo have played with each other a lot. They play in the same home games. Uh, they're very familiar with each other. Even though Brad is a stranger to most of the other players at the table, Charles and Bobo know him best. So for those of you who, who don't understand the table talk, uh, the players are conversing in Chinese and they're talking about how much each of them is stuck. Apparently all of them are stuck. Nick Airball, of course, uh, is fluent in Mandarin. One time? Yeah, one time. Please no. That scared me. <laughs> if I go Mariana one time, I. No, same thing. Not same, not same. Yeah, same thing. Not same. What? We were scared of flash draw. Different, different hand. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh. I, I thought you mean ace-king. Then I double the ice king I will not all in with yeah, 500. Yeah. If Bobo, he jacks, so why is this me? 
Yeah. Yeah. Crazy night for me. Crazy night for all of us, but we're for just Andy. starting. For Andy. Andy, so yeah, Andy. Andy. Yeah, wow. How much is Andy stuff? Six hundred? No, no, no. Maybe five. Four, four hundred. Four, five. How much? I think now they're talking about how much Andy is stuck. He won, remember he lost the big the big bluff and then the next time he, he won. He also lost to uh, Mariano. So remember, earlier on in this session, Mariano flopped a straight flush against Andy's nut flush. Or should I say the ace high flush because it wasn't the nuts. But that was a very big pot. Yeah. It can change fast. It can double or go in half very fast. Or zero. Yeah. Wesley with the ace king. And then none of the money, and then none of the money, and all the money. <laughs> and Nick Airball with the ace six <laughs> is going to make the call. And now Nick Airball has turned some equity. He now has an open ended straight draw to go along with his ace. And Wesley opts to pot control. Check. By checking that. Yeah, your call is too much money. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got? I want. I want. Uh, I want. The, I think I win. Uh, yeah, I want to keep holding. When Wesley me. picks up the yeah. small pot, uh, yeah. that gets yeah. checked down. He got shot. Yeah. Andy, wait, what hand are buying? Please, that is maybe full of glass shot. Yeah. I don't think he can pull that ace. And I'm not shot. And if you're not in the pot, I don't know. I'll do a post nine hundred. Oh, okay. Uh, two case is on. Oh. And here, once again, we have a two thousand dollars straddle. Getting that one? No. Take it back. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no need of some more chips, baby. You're right. No need. How, How much? you offer? Two large. And Francisco just calls with the ace jack suited. Make it 15 more. And Brad with a seven off suit again. Fifteen. And Francisco, of course, uh, has a better ace. He has Brad dominated. And he opts to just call the three bet pre. Are we going to get a seven? Neither of them flops anything. Ace Jack High is still good. But can Francisco withstand three barrels of pressure from Brad? Oh, wow. That's pot. And Francisco just lets it go. Can't continue in the hand. He knows that if he makes that call, that his entire stack is going to be at risk. Good. That easy, Dave. Thank you, Brad. And that's the thing when you have a player like Brad at the table, you know, hand selection becomes especially important because you know you can that no matter you what you do pre flop, that you're going to be playing for stacks by the end. Who wants to do this game? No one, <laughs> except Mariano. <laughs> can, I, uh, can I get a, uh, yeah. a chip? Yeah. You want big chips for those? Yeah, can I? Yeah, I'll buy them for you. Cool. Mariano opted to leave this session early, and the players are just talking about it. Yeah, at the end of the first recorded session, uh, we gave the option okay, for yeah. anyone that wanted to leave could leave, and uh, we, we were going to kick the stakes up, and uh, so, you know, Mariano had the option to leave, and that's obviously perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with banking a win. Yeah, it was a huge win for him. Chuck. I mean, he Chuck. played some massive pots. He played three pots over 500K. Yeah, like that's and he ran pretty bad in, in at least one. two of them. Yeah. Chuck. Well, here, Brad has the better of Nick Airball with the four deuce offsuit. Sure. Nick knows deuce. better than to try to bluff Brad. 
and Brad takes down another $40,000 pot. Brad is on fire. Francisco is reaching for reloading chips. There's a $5,000 straddle that's live in this hand. So when there's a 5K straddle in a 100, 200, 400 game, like people are going to tighten up a little bit naturally. Yeah. They're going to play tighter. You see there, Wesley just folded 10-9 off in the last position. And Bobo right? folded 5-3 suited. Bo oh, sorry, Wesley was really second to last. Yeah, Bobo folded. Uh... No, no, Bobo won the hand. Bobo was the straddle there, actually. So that was Bobo that straddled instead of uh, instead of Brad. I but, see. But anytime someone's straddling 5K, people are going to play tighter. Look at this. Brad up 476,000. The big winner. 73% 73. VPIP. Yeah, Wesley and Francisco at the bottom. And it's just been a super swingy game since Brad arrived. And Andy was the one who was in a lot of those big pots with, with Brad. So 5K straddle here from Brad. Bobo uh, calls with Queen Jack suited. Check. Air ball limp. So they both are just calling. Three ways. With the straddle being so big. Check. 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 Juices are still the best hand. Okay, interesting Check. turn now. Uh, spade draw for Bobo. Air ball has the best hand. Ten large. Brad, very sharp to avoid being sniped. I saw Brad in the chat earlier at the beginning of the show, actually. Today? He's in here watching, yeah. What did he say? I, I just saw his name in there. Shout out to Brad. Shout out to Brad. Dude, we've never met. I wish I was in that game. But Brad, if you're listening... You are a man after my own heart. You're my spirit animal. <laughs> Jack in the river, Bobo value bets, and Nick Herbo makes the good fold. So Bobo takes down a much needed pot. He's having a rough session today. We got 10,000 people just about watching already. Uh, we That's just started incredible. the stream 30 minutes ago. That's pretty amazing. What do you think we're going to have tomorrow for viewership? I'm gonna guess 50. I think that the, the line is 50. 50 would be insane. I would, That's what I think it's going to be. I would uh, do things that I can't say. On you would do a lot of questionable things. <laughs> unspeakable, unspeakable things unspeakable to get 50,000. Yeah. That would be incredible. Uh, I hope the whole poker world watches. It's gonna be a big moment for us. Ben's very excited. We'll talk more about that throughout tonight, the next few hours, but uh, Make it 20 large. Well, we'll talk about that in a bit. Brad here just... Opens to 20,000. Just opens to 20. No big deal. And Andy with the suited ace. So it's a 2K straddle from Bobo. Hmm. 20,000, 10X from Brad. And Andy puts in the call. He's got that seat where he just has to play a lot of pots against Brad. And... Brad outflops him again. Two outer. But... Andy and has back doors. And Andy is pissed. He is not going to give up without a fight. No. It's a baby. Nine on the turn. That gives Andy a gutter. Brad's going to slow down. Check it good. See Andy's face, man. He is tilted. Oh, Ooh. my. The cooler river. Two pair versus top pair. Andy can never fold now. Not against this guy. This is the perfect card. This is the image that Brad has. This is how he gets paid. Oh, my. That's unfortunate. The sun run continues. A $226,000 pot. 
heading Brad's way. And Andy's bad night just gets worse. So Andy's now stuck over 700K. He's in for 1.4, I believe. So he's stuck 725, and Brad is up 585. There it is. Oh, it's actually 800. Sorry, he's in for more than that. He's in for 1.475. So 801,000 Andy is stuck. That's among the most we've ever seen someone stuck. That is just shy of Keating and Hans territory for being buried. And Brad up 585. And now Dennis Dave is calling it a night. He's, at this point in the recording, has been playing for seven hours or so. So uh, Dave's going to head out. Glad to see it. Glad to see Dave booking a win. Yeah, good job by Dave. Dennis Dave, he's a fan favorite, chat pro favorite. Love Dennis Dave. One of the nicest guys in our community. We say that about a lot of guys, but he really is, isn't he? I think so. <laughs> Never complains. Always happy. Loves poker. Loves the people. Just a great guy. I went down to Phoenix uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, brought my dad down there, and uh, we went courtside to a Suns Nuggets playoff game. Dave and his wife, me and my dad. It was probably the best NBA experience I've ever had. Awesome. We were right there next to the bench. Uh, I posted some stuff on Instagram. It was amazing. And he hosted you guys? Yeah, and it was my first time ever in Arizona, actually. And uh, I really liked that city. It was cool. And we went to uh, Turning Stone afterwards. Oh, awesome. And he showed us around. It was a really nice... Have you been there? I have not, no. Really nice place. Just super nice. Very Vegas-like. Um, very... Much nicer than any L.A. casino because it's like an actual casino resort spa type thing. And uh, we went over to the poker room, and he wanted to play some 2-3, uh, yeah, I think it was. And so me and him sat down and played 2-3 for an hour, and we were just getting it all in, like every hand. The whole team was looking at us like we're crazy. Uh, Dave is amazing. So uh, Brad loses a little bit back there with 7-deuce to Charles. But Brad's still absolutely crushing. The table doesn't know what to make of this. Again, this game took place two Fridays ago. We recorded this after our first six hours of the stream live. So you're now watching the after hours here at Hustle Casino Live. The first time we've aired this, the first time anyone's seen it. Ben has no clue what's going on. You know that right now that game we're playing. I think that this is the first time we've ever aired anything off stream. When we played earlier before Ryan came down, that was today. So they'll see you for like 30 minutes, and then the rest of the game there when they air this in a couple weeks or whatever. For sure. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we've done this a handful of times. So we've had some games we right. recorded on weekends. Um, and we've one time, as far as, as, far as post-stream oh, recording, if that's what you mean, one time oh we did God. it. There was a Tom Dwan game in the end of 2021, whatever month that was. Drink some wine? Bibi, you drink wine? No, not really. When was that? I don't know. There was some Tom Dwan game in 2021, 20, I believe, where we recorded the after hours and we ran it on, I think, Christmas or Christmas week as like a special show with a live chat. That's the only time we've done after hours before. And, and what Nick Arbal just said in Chinese was, Sam, are we going to have to go another five hours? That's all I ask. Charles, take a shower. I'll take a shower with you. There's no shots. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, really? Red wine. We're doing red wine. Oh, wine. You want shots? Glad you're here to no. translate okay. all the Chinese. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> oh, great. Make it five more. Fifteen more. You could troll and, and say it's something completely different. Uh, <laughs> you say, like, yeah, you just asked Charles uh, what his favorite fla flavor of mayonnaise is. <laughs> So Andy three bets this. Brad calls. Andy with middle pair, and Brad just lets it go. Oh man, it's been so long since we did like a super late night game. Let's fucking go. 
WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code HUSTLER and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Did you know that WPT Global is the real money online poker home of the World Poker Tour and is available in more than 60 countries? As a Hustler Casino Live viewer and first-time depositor, you can deposit up to $1,200 and get a 100% welcome bonus. That's right, 100% bonus on anything up to $1,200. Just sign up now at WPTGlobal.com. Register there and use the code HUSTLER so that you can get that bonus. Check it out, WPT Global. How much? Yeah, right and in, welcome right back, in. everybody. This is Blank Check Ben in the commentary booth for the first time with Ryan Feldman. And we are watching part two of what was an amazing, unprecedented Friday game with Brad destroying the table. So looking at the chat, Salty Dog 67 says, Ryan was is is did Brad have any interest at all in the million dollar game? Okay. Yeah, no, he, he didn't want to. We, we discussed it, and um, for whatever his reasons are, he decided that this game wasn't for him. But uh, we're confident that he'll be back on the show at some point in a regular Friday game. I can't, I, I can't imagine what that reason might be. Somebody in the chat asked if Tom Dwan was contacted. Yes. Did talk to Tom Dwan about the million dollar game that was definitely discussed. Tom Dwan is like among my favorite people in poker, favorite people to have on the show. He always uh, has when he played the on first Charles? time, for me, it was, as a producer, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, I watched him growing up. I always thought that he was a superstar, and to have him on our show was amazing. So uh, anytime we could get him, we're going to try. And. Uh, I'm sure Tom will be back on at some point. Cat. I check. Come in. Two pairs. What? We'll cut a two pair. Oh no. Brad's sun run continues. He wins the pot with the fours. What a cooler. <laughs> the two nut pair, nut one pair hand, nut low one pair hands, I guess you would say. Four hundred. Trust me, guys. For those of you asking about different people, everybody you're thinking of probably was contacted, was thought of. Was, we tried to get them in the game. It's just not that easy. And we have a pretty good game tomorrow. I, I'm really excited. But An amazing game. Rest assured that anybody you're thinking of was tried to get and has their own personal wow. reasons. That must be such a bad thing. <laughs> you know, it is a big deal to put up a million dollars of your own money okay. to play a game of cards. And I think that with tomorrow's lineup, I think it, it, it you know, truly goes to show who's willing to put their money where their mouth is. That's true. There are, there's a lot to say about that. So Nick Airball turns trips, river's a full house. Bubble gets counterfeited, perhaps save money uh, by that five coming on the river as he now has just eight high. That's true, people do, there is a lot to be said about people that put their money where their mouth is. And a guy like this right here, Nick Airball, right? Talked a lot of trash with Matt Berkey online, social media, but he actually played him and he was a dog, and he probably knew, maybe he didn't know at the beginning, but he may have known that he was an underdog, but he went for it, and he wanted to do it. And he, and lost. he fell on his sword. But he's not giving up. He's going to keep playing poker. He's there tomorrow playing the Million Dollar Game. He's persevering through his downswing. He's learning from it, and uh, not tomorrow he won't be there, but he'll be there on Sunday, on day three. Uh, he'll be in a lineup with Rampage. So uh, we're excited about that game as well. I mean, we got the first two days are just like the action packed, crazy lineups. The third day, we got Rampage and Nick Airball. The fourth day on Monday, we have Doug Polk and Hands. 
So every lineup is like something different and super exciting. And uh, I'm excited to see what that brings, what the big pots are. Who do you think, if you had to pick besides yourself, who's the big winner amongst all the days and the big loser, if you had to pick? I mean, my original pick was Mickey to be the biggest winner. And I sincerely meant that. Unfortunately, Mickey has announced that he won't be joining us. And so I'm going to have to go with... I'm going to go with Hands. The biggest winner. Hands has had a really rough run on these big stream games. And I think he's due. You know, the way that he plays, he just goes for it. Oh, and here we go. A flush for Andy on the flop. Brad has an open-ended straight draw with the eight of diamonds. Now he is drawing dead, but does he know that? Are we gonna see action from Brad? In the small blind. Charles bets 25,000 with the sixes. And here we go. Right on cue. Brad puts in the raise. Wow, what a hand already. What a hand. A dream spot for Andy. This is his and chance. Andy just calls. This is his chance to get a lot of money back, right? That's exactly right. He's been buried all day. The wrong side of the situation in every single spot against Brad. And now he has Brad dead. Uh, of course, we can see that Charles has the six of diamonds, so Brad's officially dead. You know, Andy is taking a big risk here because a scare card might peel off, a fourth diamond, uh, the right. board might pair, and, and that he might lose a lot of value from whatever hands Brad might be calling with. But he could wait till the turn to pile the money in. Well, if the turn isn't a scare card, yep. but Andy is taking a risk because he wants to win a big pot. And let's see if the... Oh, it's a brick. What a great card for Andy. It is a brick. The, there's $240,000 in the pot, and Andy has them dead. He is going to lead into this pot. So he just called the flop after the raise for yes. Brad. Brad checks. Now Andy bets 90 into 240. And, and Charles has to know that three ways, it's unlikely that his hand is good here. But he thinks that he, at the very least, has one out. Uh, possibly has a straight draw. Possibly has a flush draw, right? There's some things that, that Charles can have here. But it's, it's different heads up as it is to three-way, right? Very different. Even if Charles thinks that Andy is tilting, he can't possibly make this call. And Brad lets it go. Brad, Brad oh, look at that oh. river. Look at the rabbit. The rabbit river gives Brad a straight, Charles a set, and Andy still has the best hands. Ooh. Do you think the rabbit is real? I don't think so. I think it's a scam. You think it's a scam? The rabbit right? just messes with you. That wasn't you know? the real river card, right? No, it's, no. It's RNG. The, the rabbit, the rabbit's just a scam. It, it messes with you. It messes with you. It put out the most action river. <laughs> it's Damn like rabbit. <laughs> Silly rabbit. <laughs> now Bobo wakes up with kings. Wow, Great. what a hand that was, though. Imagine if they got to the river there. Imagine if it checked through on the turn. Oh, my. You set? Oh my god. Bobo has pocket Bobo wakes kings. up with kings. Yeah. And he three bets over Brad's button raise. Maybe good, maybe good. Jack, Jack five, five is a very good flop for kings. Yeah, this game is not gonna This is a static flop. And Brad is not folding yet. What's he gonna do? What? Wow. Wait, he what? He goes all in with seven high. Wait. And Bobo wow. makes the call. Bobo stuck almost 400K. Uh, he, he only has 71K kind of in his stack. Not so much fold equity. Okay. Huh? Okay. Only if you want to. Have a try? One time confirmed. Maybe. Oh my, oh, look at that turn. Oh, wow. Gutter and a flush draw. A Six or a diamond. Up so much equity. And they're running it once. Mm -hmm. Dead. Me? Yeah. Dead? <laughs> Brad's messing yeah. with him, saying he's dead. Two outs. It's a nine. Bobo thinks and Bobo's he lost. Kings hold. 
Okay, now Bubble knows he won. Brad, with the reverse slow roll, telling Bobo he lost. Thank you, BB. A hundred and seventy-three thousand dollar pot. Goes to Bobo. Two hundred K pots tomorrow are going to be nothing. Yeah, they're going to be very standard. I will go back China. No, first you'll rebuy. First you'll rebuy. I don't have money. You have money. I'm broke. No, you know me and Charles, so you have money. If you don't know me and Charles, maybe you don't have money. If you hear the you know table chatter, Charles, you know you'll you notice that <laughs> Bobo and Charles nope. are referring to Brad as BB. And that's because they know each other really well from their home game. BB, of course, stands for Bad Brad. <laughs> Which Brad is apparently okay with as a nickname. I don't know him well enough to call him that, so we're just going to call him Brad for now. If he wants to be, maybe Brad's in chat somewhere, maybe he could tell us, but if he wants to be known as that, we'll call him that. And but. here we go, Brad's all in again, and this time he has the best hand. Wow, he just rips it for 180K effective with pocket nines. Airball's not calling off there with ace-10, he knows better. Charles is flipping here, but he can't know that. but he's thinking about it. Now, Charles isn't afraid to gamble. He's tightened up significantly because of the way Brad's been playing, but he is not afraid to gamble, and if he keeps getting pushed around like that, at some point, he is going to make a stand. That's me. He will live. That's me if, if, if the board, if we chop. Yeah. <laughs> and you notice here that Charles is electing to not add on. He is sitting on 116,000 and he is choosing to not add on, probably so that he can stack off lighter. And now Charles sends it all in with ace nine. This is a different kind of poker, right? Like this isn't this isn't for everyone. The the shove and pray <laughs> poker for hundreds of thousands. One hand after I said Charles was gonna make a stand. He rips it in with the ace nine offsuit. Bobo's the second one. What's that? I'm sure. No, you're a gambler. I'm not a gambler, I'm professional. Hold on one second, actually, it's gonna start over here right now. That's true. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's true. Starting for you. 10. Very nice. I like it. Thank you. I'm bringing one right now. Okay. You can't stop people doing stupid, right? No. Okay, you too. So, uh, we have an announcement yes. for. This is a good thing for the stakes for tomorrow. So we are going to be playing 501k, as we said. We're going to do a two big blind ante tomorrow for more action, than we, if, as if we needed that, right? 2k big blind ante. We're going to limit the straddles. There's going to be a rule in the straddles, um, and we're, it's going to be more focused on the game just being sicker every hand. It's going to encourage people to play more hands and be more action, be more aggressive. 501k, 2k big blind ante. We're also playing... 6K stand-up game every two yes, hours. Sure. It's implemented already. That's the structure tomorrow. It's going to be action. Every hand, you can win 2K dead. Every two hours. If you lose, you're going to pay everyone 6K for the stand-up game. So um, not only is this game super deep, not only is it a big game and is the lineup pretty, pretty sick, but we have those things implemented to make the game even sicker. I am waiting with bated breath. Now, you realize, obviously, that there is a chance, as there is for every player, um, that you could lose a million or two million, right? Of course, right? I could lose three. Right. Um, let's say, let's yeah. just say two million, okay? Or, or let's just say two as a more realistic number. Mm -hmm. Let's say, now, now it's not real, it's not as realistic to lose that in one day, okay? But let's say over the next two days, you lose two million. I think it's a lot more realistic than people think. So, at first, I mean, 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 I m
Every time I come here. So let's say two days from now you lose two million, right? I always come here. Have you thought about like how that's gonna feel? Do you think it's gonna affect your mental state for a bit? I mean, you're human, right? Like you're and you are probably more emotional than most people. So how's that gonna affect you? Do you think? And I'll hopefully, I'm not trying to put negative thoughts in your head. Uh, so so just tell me if you don't want to discuss. But um, how much do you think that the results of these games are gonna impact? your emotional state over the next few days after that. I mean, if I end up losing two million or three million, and I, I disagree with you, I think that, you know, that is a lot more likely than people seem to give it credit for. I think that losing two million dollars in a game of this size, uh, I mean, it's not going to be easy, but it's not going to be as hard as some people think it is. So I'm prepared to lose $3 million. And if I lose it, well, I'm going to be sad, obviously, because I'm going to play to win. But, you know, honestly, after a couple days, I'm just going to wake up and realize that I was part of the biggest poker game in the history of U.S. Tele uh, in US television history. And uh, I will take peace in the fact that I participated instead of sat it out. By the way, Andy has already cut off 200K of his losses over the last, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Yeah. So he went from down over 800 to now down about 600. Yeah, that's... And, and, and Brad has has and, lost about 180. And look at this, Brad Rivers, Charles, trip sevens against top pair. Wow. He is running... Crazy, and now he's gonna put in a raise, almost for sure here. And here we go. How much? Big raise, fifty thousand dollars. Wow! And against a guy like Brad, can you ever fold here? Can Charles find the fold? I think if anyone can let this go, it's Charles. Uh, is it because of his? He wow, folds. Wow! He did do it. Is it because he knows Brad? I think it's because he knows Brad, and I also think Charles just has this very uncanny sense, you know, for danger. I think that he has shown in, in, in the last couple of months that he's capable of folding very big hands. Uh, I think Charles, more than anyone, understands that hand strengths in poker are relative and not absolute. I never flop. Mm, that's a good point. Um, and so, you know, know a couple of Ooh. sessions ago, he flopped a flush, and I had a higher flush, and Bill Klein had a set. And Charles is folded. Great. And I remember there was another time where he had a full house and he folded. Let's explain briefly uh, what you mean by that for those that don't understand. So relative and absolute. So in absolute terms, a straight is good, a flush is better, right? Yes. But in relative terms, it all has to do with the action and the cards on the board and, and who you're playing against and all and, of that. And what, what hands your, your opponent is likely to right. have. Right, how the hand played out, right? Let's say a hand got checked through all the way to the river and there's no straight or flush on the board and you have trips and you bet and someone raises. Well, that's a really good hand, right? Yep. But if... You know, you flop a straight and the board runs out a four flush, well, then a straight is not a very good hand, yep. relatively speaking. But it's better in absolute sense than trips were in the other hand, right? Yep. I think that, for example, if, you know, you're facing a five bet from a very tight opponent and you somehow make the call with pocket sixes and it comes ace, ace, six, king, deuce, you know, I think that although you have a full house, it's not that strong because you're losing to so many hands. You win, Chuck. <laughs> Charles just gives up. He says you win. 99K pot for Bobo, so Bobo gets a little back. Uh, Charles is, is stuck. And uh, we have some big swings in this game. There's Andy right there. He's down the most today. Looks a little tilted. Andy wears the emotions on his sleeve. He, he just he puts it out there, man. Andy is a warrior. He's a battler. He's been through it all in poker, and he's still here standing. And you got to give a lot of respect to Andy. A lot man, of respect. He has played in these LA live stream games pretty much longer than anyone, especially the high stakes games. So Francisco open raises to 25,000. Well, it's a 5K straddle from Brad. Mm -hmm. 
Brad calls him with the fives. I'm surprised Brad Funny. didn't just rip it in. Well, Francisco just went all in for 161. 3 x pot. 50. Over 3x pot. That's a signature move from Francisco the pro. That's a good news. Do you think this is ever uh, not? If you think that's a good news, really. I mean, I'm surprised here? he's doing this with Queens. But, uh, you know, this is this is Francisco's signature. He wants to take the pot down. He doesn't want it to get too big. <laughs> the problem is Brad doesn't know Francisco at this point very well. And Francisco is heaving. He is breathing very heavily right now. You can just watch. And he's thinking, why is he taking so long to fold? Most of the time when Francisco does this, he expects his opponent to release pretty quickly. And now that Brad is thinking about it, Francisco looks uncomfortable. I don't ever go Brad lets it go, and Francisco picks up $25,000. Uh, good fold by Brad. Uh, Very I'm good fold. Like, I don't know, 25 maybe. Okay, <laughs> what do you think of uh, the way Francisco's stacking his chips? <laughs> I think that uh, it's interesting. But speaking of which, are you excited about the 25k chips? They are debuting tomorrow. No one the has Kobe's. used them yet. The Kobe's. I am very excited indeed. Really? To be one of the first people to use the newly minted 25k chips. Lower than the flop, though. I don't want you to call. See, you guys picked that up from the table chatter. Francisco said, I didn't want you to call. That makes no sense. Well, it makes a lot of sense. He wants to take the pot down. Or it, it, it could mean. I don't think it does, but it could mean that I almost did. he shoved to take the pot down, but he knows that if he gets called, he's probably going to get called by better. So he kind of doesn't want to get called because he's probably losing if he gets called. Mm, I think he doesn't want to get called, period. That's why he does it. Yeah, we do have 10K plaques also, but I, I'm not sure if anyone's going to put them into play with all the 25K chips. Check. It's going to be hard for Nick Airball to get any value out of this. But Brad pays it off playing the board. Only full pounds? A lot of people in the chat obviously asking about Mickey. Uh, I'll, I'll just say that. I've known Mickey for a while. Very close with Mickey. We're, you know, we're boys. He's going to play on the show again in the future. It didn't work out this time. Whatever those reasons were, it doesn't really matter. Um, he's got his reasons. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to get things together to play in this game uh, this weekend. Um, I knew there was a chance that would happen. Um, he told me that it was like very highly likely he was good to go until recently. Not sure what happened that changed that, but you know, unfortunately, he's not going to be there, and that's it. Everyone has their own personal reasons. It doesn't matter. He has his reasons. Eric has his reasons. Jr. has his reasons. Double M has his reasons. Everybody has their own personal reasons, right? Like, there's more that goes on than just poker. And um, unfortunately, Mickey won't be there. But that's all that we'll say about that. And but I love Mickey, and, and we talk all the time, and, and he'll be back on the show again soon. And here we have an all-in preflop again between Charles and Brad. Here we go. It's a flip. 140K pot. Charles binks the ace, and they are running it one time. Charles holds. And Brad is getting chipped away. What are you Yeah. So they go one time. Charles wins the flip, and now he doubles up. And and Brad's on a little bit of a downswing now. In the last 30 minutes, 20 minutes or so, he's down 250. He had 785, so 250 he's down. Uh, a bit of a downswing here for Brad. Let's see if he can pick it back up and, and, and win some back, or if, it's, if he's going to continue to skid. Um, the momentum is not in his favor right now. So uh, let's see what happens with Brad if he can win a pot or two and get back in the right direction. Well, actually 50-50. No, I mean, he might have ice king. 
Still 50 50. Either win or lose. Come on, dude. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. Sorry about that, Charles. 800 shuttle. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, what's the technical rule on exposed cards, Lauren? Can we choose to keep it? No. Why not? It changes nothing. It's okay. I exposed it. So? He exposed it himself, and I wouldn't have to give him any money. I guess I'll be wrong. Nope. I didn't get anything. Not really. <laughs> Lol's time in the chat says Mickey has jury duty. Like nothing over 200. K. Maybe. No. That, well, that maybe he knows something we don't. <laughs> but I highly doubt that's the case. Shout out to Nathan who's in the chat. Nathan is one of our uh, video editors. He crushes it. Uh, he's going to be with us tomorrow working here. And uh, Nathan is done an incredible job with Hustler Casino Live. So far, shout out to Nathan. One big pot you missed. Yeah. Robin Cefalo in the chat says, is Greg playing the million dollar game? Did you ask him, Ryan? Huh? He couldn't make it. He couldn't make it? Yeah. Scheduling conflict? Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate. He has a doctor's appointment. So here, Brad with the queen jack suited, raises it up. I mean, and Wesley folds the king jack. It's interesting how the straddle impacts things because you know, the straddle is 5K or, or whatever it was that hand, and Brad makes it 15K, and you got people folding ace four suited queen, uh, King Jack off in position against Brad the Maniac, you know? And, and, and you shouldn't want to do that, especially in position, but the SBR becomes less and all of that. It, it becomes harder to to win the hand um, when the straddle's really big, and it becomes more gambly preflop, so... Uh, Andy's. So here we go. Francisco limps oh, oh. under the gun. Brad raises to 4,000 on the button. Like Andy calls, and Bobo makes it 20,000. Wow. From the big blind with King Brad's Jack off call. suit, and Brad calls. I was going to say, like, half the table's not giving a ton of loose action to Brad. Um, Bobo is one that is. Charles is. Andy is. Airball is to a degree. Yeah, the rest of them are just picking their spots. Look at this float from Brad. Brad here has the king of clubs. He has backed into a flush draw. I think Brad's going to win this hand, right? Bobo still has the best hand, but he can't possibly know that with this king jack high. He can't do much if Brad bets here. 45. What a maniac Brad is. I love this guy. What a play by Brad. Can you imagine if Brad played in the million dollar game? It would be amazing. Man, I, I wish he would. Oh, I wish he would. It would be amazing. He'll be back, though. He will be back. From what I've been told, Brad is primarily a PLO player. And he doesn't like No Limit Hold'em all that much. Yes, yes. Maybe that has to do with the fact that he can't play every hand in No Limit Hold'em. <laughs> Uh-oh, two. I like that one. I'll be tilted. Charles with the queens raises under the gun. The 2,000. Brad calls with three deuce off. Andy calls on the button. Jack seven off. That's my best hand. And we have a three-way pot. Two pair for Brad. Threes and deuces oh on the my. flop. The dirty diaper. <laughs> and Coolering Charles. And, and if Charles, you're Charles, you can never, you can never fold here against not Brad. Not in a million years. King on the turn might just save Charles. All in. All in. Oh my. All in from Brad. Two X pot. <laughs> Overbet shove. Oh my. The king might have just saved Charles a lot of money. Charles isn't happy. Oh, he calls. Wow. Two hundred eighty-three k pot. They're gonna go twice. It sounds like. I have an eight-six of diamonds. 
Oh! Thank you. Brad gets counterfeited. Oh! Wow. Wow. Charles wow. Scoops! Wow. How unlucky for Brad. That is brutal. I'm too. <laughs> Charles gets it in bed. 110. Brad got him to put in all his money with one pair. And somehow, Charles finds the scoop. That's really gamble. Brad got it in good there. By the way, Wesley had a six of diamonds. He would have flopped a pair in a flush draw. He w sorry, he would have had a six of diamonds. But the card flipped over and he had a new card, so instead of ace diamonds, he got an eight. And he would have uh, he would have won both boards if so, he theoretically were in that hand. So now Charles is pretty much unstuck, and Brad is upstuck to the tune of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. 236, oh, yeah, 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 350, that's crazy. Maybe we all straddle, Ma. Wow. This is a straddle. <laughs> I want y'all. This is a straddle. Now he's on two. 14. 1400. Now Wesley's on two. Look at him. Yeah, I, Wesley said he never tilts, and now he's on two. Five. So Wesley raises under the gun with the tens. Five. Calls Andy's three bet. What? And of course, Brad's in there with the 3-4 three, four, three, four offsuit. Brutal one for Brad. All the action he's giving to to get scooped there is just like insanely unlucky. What would j Book say if he got, if he got <laughs> scooped there? You think he would post it in chat? <laughs> Top pair for Andy. And Wesley folds the tens. Shout out to uh, Jay Boogs. I'm sure he's watching out there. Thank God you weren't the one with Deuce 3 in that hand. We love you, Jay Boogs. We have over 13K people watching on a casual Thursday replay of a game from two weeks ago. How about that? Amazing. Everyone's ready. Tomorrow, million dollar game. It starts an hour earlier than usual, 4 p.m. Pacific. The action starts. But pre game show, we got you ready. It all starts at 1.30 p.m. Pacific. Two-hour pregame show, 1.30 to 3.30. We got DGAF, and we got Norman Chad, and we got Nick Vertucci. Those three will be hosting. Two-hour pregame, special edition at 1.30. They'll talk about whatever's on their mind to preview the lineup, the million-dollar games to talk about everything. And then 4 p.m. Pacific, the game starts. Million-dollar minimum, blank check, Ben. He's with me right here. He'll be there. He's locked and loaded. He's ready. He's got millions ready to go. And tonight... We are giving you a little appetizer, part two, the long-awaited part two of that epic game from two Fridays ago, featuring Brad and Andy. <laughs> Andy is away for a few weeks in Texas for his brother's uh, wedding. How tilted must he be after getting stuck in this game and then having to miss the million dollar game? Well, we don't know that he's going to end up stuck, do you? Well, uh, I don't know as that. Of now. Yeah. As of right now. I was gonna. I thought you were going to say we don't know that he's not going to fly back. For one of the games. <laughs> Jason James in the chat says, even if Andy felt Brad right now, he is still down over 100K. Imagine how tilting that must be. And Wesley wakes up with the aces. Perfect timing. Three bets to 5,000. And Bobo makes the call with the eights. Wesley has Bobo's suits covered as well. Standard continuation <laughs> bet by Wesley. Bobo calls. And now Wesley checks. Everyone calls, one call, two call, three call. That's a great looking river for Wesley here to get some value. Yeah. River. Okay, 
and Bobo get away. What a great fold by Bobo. Amazing I mean, it looks fold. easy, but it's not. Amazing fold. When there's fold. only one over card and the poor pairs, that's not an easy fold. Amazing fold. Especially after the turn check. <laughs> Shout out to DC Lawyer out there watching. We love you, DC. When he comes back, whoop. They should advertise the fuck out of this recording. Yeah. I guess it'll get its natural advertisement because they're going to show part of BB's arrival when he's traveled 5K and everything right away. Right. And so then and then it'll cut off and everyone will be like, what Francisco the fuck? Francisco limping like, in, in weeks, with Pocket Kings, his, his, his signature. Game. The real Francisco's name is... No one takes the bait. Oh, top set for Francisco. Middle pair for Andy. No one else has much of anything. I think we should... I think that you should have a chance to win. We should have a chance to win. Andy lets it go. And Francisco collects a very small pot. I think if you're that close, you should win. No, I mean... If you're that close, you should win. Yeah, I think he should. I think he should go. You shouldn't go. Of course, but he should go. We should go. They're talking about Mariano in Chinese. Uh, they were saying that Wesley says that Mariano should have stayed, and Nick Airball says that. Mariano should have left. Right now they're talking about what toppings they like on a five guys burger. <laughs> Wesley said he likes grilled onions and mayonnaise. Andy said he likes bacon and hot sauce. <laughs> Nick Airball said he used to love Five Guys, but now he's going for the, for the, the what do you call it, the bun, the no bun, the, the lettuce bun. That's what he said. I'm sorry, my Chinese translation is not good. All right, everybody. If you are liking what you're seeing on a Thursday night, sick action. 100, 200, 400, but it's playing like 2,000, 4,000 because of Brad. If you guys are having a good time watching this and if you are pumped for the million dollar game, hit that like button. Am I doing this right, Ryan? You hit are. That like button. I'm just letting you go because you're crushing it. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button. Smash it, as Nick Fertucci would say. That's what you told me. Yeah, but I can change my mind. <laughs> True. At least I know that if I lose Finally three million in the next couple of days, that <laughs> I'll have a job here in the commentary booth. Oh, absolutely. No, he's just a coach. Coach, okay. Poker coach. Uh, an pro. He like. Uh, so again, remember that earlier on in this stream, the fans are going to see in part one win with five six against Mariano and Bobo, and then and then the stream ends, and then Ryan will say, "You can see in two weeks or three weeks," and all the fans are going to chill. Very astute comment from Nick Airball. Way more action. This guy just fucking plays. What? So that Remember that down earlier down on in this today? stream, oh, no. yeah, five, Mariano oh, flops a straight like flush and a four bet pot with Andy flopping the ace high flush, and they both get it in for all the money. That hand's like 600, 700. How smart am I, man? Take this guy to try to flop him. <laughs> just snapshots on me. I'm like 200. It's all in. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code HUSTLER and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free.
don't know that one. Very, 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 very sad. <laughs> Shout out to WPT we'll Global, our sponsor. They'll be sponsoring the Million Dollar Game as well. Did you know that WPT Global is the real money online poker home of the World Poker Tour, the WPT? It's available in more than 60 countries. Did you know that? As a Hustler Casino Live viewer and first-time depositor, you can deposit up to $1,200 and get a 100% welcome bonus. That's right. Just whatever you deposit, anything up to $1,200, you'll get that match. So you put in $800, they will give you $1,600. Put in $1,200, they will give you $2,400. Just visit WPTGlobal.com now to register and use the code HUSTLER to sign up. I don't think so. I So he had a real hand. Can you go on? What do you think he's going to do? He said he doesn't think so. I'm I think he's going to do it. He's yeah. going to win a small pot here with Ace King. Nobody has anything. I think he's that. He's going to say four holes. Still me in after the play. Otherwise, he's 20 million. If he's 20 million, he's just 20 million. He's going to get a draw. Yeah. He's going to get a draw. 所以他说很大，他不认为我的牌好，就是正是正是。对啊，你你三条肯定不好的呀，人家可能是不好的。I'm so happy. 他有个圈，他都不会，他不会认识的，何必了？只有很大很大的。Did <laughs> Erval just said, mm. Ben or JR is just going to show up at any time now. <laughs> All right, Brad, you're back here. I love how every Friday is just becoming a warm up for the million dollar game now. Yeah, it's the game that's down. Warm up. Warm up, man. That's the thing, people don't realize how big of games there are. Like, oh, it's true. The game become bigger and bigger from since the hustle started. <laughs> when I first come here, I play 10 20 No. No post game, BB. Rob Andrew in the chat says Tony G is not playing. Well, that is outdated information. Tony G has just confirmed that he will be playing, and he is in an airplane flying to Los Angeles right now. Yeah, he's should be. I think he just took off. Um, but yeah, no, Tony's good to go. He's he has wired his money. Yeah, his and money's it has been there. Received. And uh, he's got a hotel booked. Uh, he's on a plane. He's coming. He is en route coming from Istanbul to L.A. He's going to arrive just in time tomorrow, uh, about two hours before we start. I'm sure he's going to have to go through, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, customs. Customs and, and all that. And then uh, he'll get here just in time for the game. So we're excited. Tony G. I've never met him in person. Uh, I know you've never met him in person, right? I've never met him in person. And, and I'm excited. Talked on the phone a lot. And, you know, we connected. And, and we've talked a little bit here and there over the last year or two uh, as I've been trying to get him here for a game. Uh, as you see, by the way, another big pot. No big deal. We're talking through 127K pot as Brad pays off with bottom pair as Andy value bet second pair. Great bet by Andy. And he gets a little closer to even. Andy now stuck about 500 or so after being stuck 800 uh, less than an hour ago. TD Mech in Turf in the chat says, Feldman, you and me heads up 20K. Revenge for Armenian Mike. Yeah, I'm good, man. You, you're scaring me. Nothing. <laughs> Three to go. Wait, you know what happened with Armenian Mike. What do you mean? You know the I don't know classic... What with Armenian oh, Mike. careful with your mic there. You turn it off before you move it. Uh, you know, you don't, you know the Armenian, the famous Armenian Mike hand, the joke bet? Are you serious? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you trolling? I'm not trolling. You don't know about one of the most famous poker hands ever that I was involved in. For my benefit and for the benefit of those at home watching, could you please tell us the hand? So when I was at the bike and I was a producer there, we're pl I was playing on stream in a game, and there's less than a thousand in the pot. I have a full house in the river. He goes all in. I snap call, 
and then he tells me he's joking and takes his money back. Oh, right. You know about this. I, I don't. I don't. This is the first time I'm hearing it. How? Have you been? I've been I under mean, a rock. You just I, search I keep, on YouTube, Armenia Mike. I keep telling you, I'm not a. I'm, I'm not, you know, a poker player. Yeah. So we we went back and forth for like five minutes. The floor man came in. Garrett assisted and told Mike he's got to just pay. Uh, make sure you turn turn that off before you do that. No more yeah. here. Uh, and uh, and eventually he left the money there and uh, paid, and then never heard from him for over a year after that. But that was the infamous Armenian Mike Jokabet hand, and uh, you know that's why we kind of joke about joke bets and taking money back and things like that sometimes. So yeah, it's, uh, if you YouTube it, it was an infamous hand that Joey Ingram covered. The joke did you, bet. Did you, did you feel bad? I mean, I didn't really do anything wrong. <laughs> I just <laughs> was playing a hand, and uh, it was weird because I was a producer, and he was like, no, 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 I'm joking. You really want this money? <laughs> Can't blame the guy for trying, right? Yeah. Back. One more. Thank you, uh, Antoine. Appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Eric is not playing, unfortunately. It was a late cancel. Uh, he will be missed. Everybody was bummed to find out Eric won't be there. Hopefully he'll be watching. Hopefully we'll have him again sometime soon. But uh, yeah, unfortunately no Eric. Yes. Alex Tran in the chat says, Ben, shout out to us Canadians. Here's a very big shout out to all our friends watching from Canada. I love Canada. I always have a great time when I'm in Canada. Um, so yeah, those of you watching from north of the border, I hope that uh, you guys are having a great time. And we hope you're excited about the five days of action we're gonna have for you starting tomorrow in the million dollar game. Different level. Sashimi, sashimi. Different level. Sashimi, sashimi not even Chinese. No? Oh, she's Japanese. <laughs> she's a Mexican. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. He's making a joke. I love that. I love that little interaction there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was classic. Right, right? What's the food that you order? Ramen. Ramen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty good. Brad down 400k from peak uh, right now. Yeah, I want, yeah. Oh, yeah. Over 400. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Spicy? Got Kobe. Yeah, spicy. Uh, Tito. Four large. Yeah. Can um, Bubba get the same order as Bradley? $4,000 raise with a four deuce of hearts. $5,000 raise from Brad with the 10 9 suited and Bobo three bets in from the blinds with pocket nines. 30,000 in the pot. Brad just got there on Bobo. Check. Ten. Gets yeah. checked down. Small pot for Brad, but definitely... Um, Very unlucky for Bobo. Yeah, def definitely, though, good for Brad to, to win a little one and uh, get some momentum going back. He's still 400K down from peak. It's never fun. 400K upstuck. Up That's real upstuck. But he's he's grinding. One small pot at a time. The guy is a true grinder. Mm. 
shout out to Dylan Bainbridge from the chat who says, watching from the UK. For all of you who are watching um, across the pond in the UK, I hope you guys are enjoying this. A big shout out to you. Thank you so much for watching, even though it's late at night for you guys. Uh, I always have a great time in the UK. I was just in London a couple of weeks ago. And uh, you guys are great. Check. Check. Nick Airball with a seven, calling a bet from Brad with the Jack Deuce of Diamonds. 15,000 from Brad. A quick call from Nick Airball. Can the river bring a diamond? No, it's a deuce. And Nick is going to pick up a $55,000 pot. Can we get cocktails? Uh, cocktails? Tina, or just tell her we want um, a bottle of the cake bread and one, two, three glasses. That's it? Yep. Anyone else want a drink besides wine for me, Charles, What's and Hongo? What? Hongjo. Oh, Hongjo. Okay. You should only go with her. Okay, okay. Uh, Tina, order a, a bottle of cake bread for three glasses. Copy. I mean, maybe, maybe get four glasses in case Andy's interested in hating on his liver. Ryan, I'm getting fucked up. Bobo makes it 10,000 from the button with King-9 offsuit. Only that can make this game better is drunk air ball. Brad calls with 10-3 offsuit. Right? right, Charles? Actually, no, two things. Drunk Charles and drunk air ball. Then this game is the juice. Middle pair for Bobo, nothing for Brad. He doesn't need drinks. He's already drunk. Oh, yeah. He decides yeah, to just give it up. Can you tell? This guy shows up fucking wasted. <laughs> he, shot, right? no, he, he already had a shot. No, Julio. I, do I need a shot? I think you need it. I need? Yeah. I have not until the, uh, more. You're too tight. Uh, <laughs> okay. I should have. Why are you You think Jeremy's going to drink wine tomorrow? That? I will. Uh, play, play proper. I hope so. Play like <laughs> pros. Play like will you drink pros. wine tomorrow? No. <laughs> <laughs> bet from Charles with the ace jack of diamonds and Brad has a very nice hand. He is going to put in the four bet with eight nine of spades. I love the eight nine of spades. 30,000. He is not afraid. And I just saw I Bobo watching, fold the ace three of spades. I love watching Brad because you know, some players that are big action, they just want to see flops and they call a lot. Mm. But Brad's not one of them. Brad's one who wants to play aggressively Raises. as well. Yeah. And three bet and four bet and mix it up and you never know what he's gonna have in this kind of spot. Monster flop for Charles. I'm all in. And he just goes all in. All in. Brad it's a of huge course. Show. Brad of course is just nine high and he can't call. Nuts. That's a huge shove, two hundred and forty. Very 000. big shove. I think Charles just had enough. Very nice. Have nuts, BB. Nuts? I have nuts. First job. Yeah. Ace jack. Ace jack of a diamond. Ace is good, I think. Ace jack of diamond. Charles very uh, assertively okay, emphasizing That's that he would have turned the nuts. Oh, the 500k downer now for Brad. Well, he's still up at this point. Still up 80,000 oh, Major, major yeah. upstuck. Up The upstuckiest of upstucks. Look at this, we did a poll on who would be the big winner tomorrow. And you came out on top. 
Wow, that's a lot of pressure. And it's just you by yourself and other people with another player. Wow. And you still came out on top. That is a lot of oh, pressure, but thank you, everyone. That's just belief by the community that, you know, you're going to get those great vibes from being here and commentating tonight. Did I miss a hand? <laughs> well, I sure hope it uh, translates into he doubled up. some run good at the tables. Uh -oh. And if the cards cooperate, you know, I'm hoping for a very good result. It depends what version of Ben shows up tomorrow, right? Oh, there's only going to be one version of Ben that shows up tomorrow. What version is that? I'm going to be playing my A game the whole time, from beginning to end. If you feel yourself playing on tilt at any point or, like, doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing, yeah. how are you going to fix that? How are you going to come back? I'm going to leave the table. I'm going to go to the bathroom, take a quick break, and I'm going to come back after five minutes. Good. Okay. Just want to make sure you had a plan. <laughs> I mean, I might tilt a little bit, but I'm not tilting off two million tomorrow. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, you got to save that for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> tilt gets really expensive. So we got an $800 straddle here from Bobo. And you see the players getting a little tired, neck yawning. You know, at this point, they've been playing for eight hours. And in real time, this happened two weeks ago, two Fridays ago, May 12th, for those that don't know, you're watching a game that we recorded after hours. And this is like 11 something at night at this point. So, you know, not really that late yet, but they have been playing for eight hours. Heads up. Bobo calling down with the king high and folding on the river. Andy gets it through. Oh, Andy made, Andy got there on the river and, did you see that? Oh my God. The back Andy door got straight. there on the river and Bobo correctly folded, but Bobo called the flop and the turn correctly with King High. Really weird, maybe he was trying to float and then Andy kept betting, so he that's, he can't call. Maybe Again, Bobo is a super pro. <laughs> maybe. Some think so. I'm kind of speechless right now. Calls twice with King High, and he's correct. And as soon as Andy makes his draw, he folds. He's the best. Oh. Too large. Make it six large. Oh. Six thousand dollars three bet from Wesley on the button. It's king queen suited, very good hand. All right, let's go. And he gets action from Brad and Charles. They both have hearts, but Brad has the queen nine of hearts. Wesley flops top pair. This is going to be over real quick. Check is good. Check back from Wesley, hoping to dodge a diamond. Check. Charles check. Now it's time for Wesley to bet. No, he's going to check again. What's he waiting for? Huh. And now the fourth diamond comes, and now he could get bluffed off. <laughs> Queen high. Half. And checks back no again. Diamond. Wesley just Half. not trying to, to play big pots. <laughs> Very interesting uh, line with King Queen. I that diamond. <laughs> Very strange. So, nobody had a diamond. I have a two hearts. I saw his uh, Queen high flash. Uh, when I say queen high. You think Bibi oh, would just it. check with a queen high flush? <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, how many Red Bulls are you going to drink, Ben? At least three. You big Red Bull guy? Yeah. It gives you wings, I've heard. I, <laughs> it sure does. I drink at least two Red Bulls. Do they do years. anything for you? Oh, of course. They, they help me stay alert. Have you tried other energy drinks or no. anything else? Well, I tried Monster once and I didn't like it. There's other um, things that I've found better because okay. Red Bull doesn't really have that many um, oh, yeah? milligrams compared to other. 
Recently, I've tried Celsius. Have you ever had them? I have heard of Celsius. I haven't tried it. I think they're a little healthier. They have some flavored ones, and they're more caffeine. So Brad three bets this button with 6-5 offsuit. And he's starting to play a little bit more conservative now. You know, he's starting to check back if he misses. Do you think that maybe he's catching on to the fact that other players might be checking to trap him? Brad? Yeah. And he doesn't want to be sniped? I think so. I think at this point in the night, he's on a 500k downswing in the last hour or so. And I think he's realizing that everyone's playing tight and kind of just waiting for him for the most part. And I need a double up before the 5k comes on again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put... Talk to Charles. Yeah, I mean, he's basically telling the table, like, hey, look, I'll put the 5k straddle on, but you guys got to give me some action, give me a chance. Not me. So he's going 3k, though. Charles, Andy, or Wesley, are you? I can double him. I don't need to. Yeah, you double him. Shout out to Kurt Rhombus giving away five Muscle Life memberships. Appreciate that. Shout out to Shiv. Shout out to Win Dixie also giving away five Hustler Casino Live memberships. Much appreciated. And Cody Shields will give one away as well. Thanks, guys. Thank you for the support tonight. Make sure you smash that like button if you're excited for the million dollar game tomorrow. If you're excited to watch Brad right now. If you're excited about the sweet voice of Blank Check Ben. Hit that like button. Show some support. Thank you for everyone that is here tonight. 13,000 of you on a Thursday. You can't imagine what we're going to have tomorrow. Remember, yep. tomorrow and, and each of the next five days, we're starting an hour early, 4 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you tune in on time because you don't want to miss a second of the action during the Million Dollar Game. Also, Casino Live brings you the best poker content in the world, and you know what? It is free. It always was free, and it always will be free. I live in a tent. Very nice tent, but tent. Oh. Wesley We're going to have me. tomorrow, no, in terms of outside of <laughs> the amazing good. lineup we have, yeah, is good. we have Joey yeah. Ingram here, Press the pressure. one of the yeah, biggest guy. voices in poker. He's going to be here with us. He's going to be doing content. He's going to be interviewing players. He's going to be reporting from the floor whenever there's something he wants to report on. Um, he's going to be here all five days with us. Just He's going to do some commentary as well. He's going to be all over it. Joey Ingram here tomorrow. We also have Veronica Brill. Veronica will be doing the same. She'll be doing interviews. She'll be reporting. She's going to be all over the place. Joey and Veronica are here. And then we have our all-star commentary team. Tomorrow it's going to be a rotation. So the pregame show, we're going to have Nick with DJF and Norm Chad. The beginning of commentary, we're going to have Tuckman, David Tuckman, with Norman Chad. Norman Chad's going to leave. Tuckman's going to be by himself. Bart Hansen's going to come in. There's going to be an overlap. Then Bart Hansen's going to commentate. DJAF's going to come in. Billy. He's going to overlap with Bart for a little bit. Then DJAF will take over the rest of the night. So that's the schedule tomorrow. Just an all-star cast of commentary and hosts. Some of the great voices in poker. And uh, we're, we're very excited for all of those people that are uh, coming in to help us. We are getting ready for a marathon, aren't we? I didn't even have my chips in the middle. There you go, buddy. I shoved it in my face. Okay, 2K. 2K straddle? Wait, is that how you go on the street? No, 2K. No. 2K straddle is on. 2K straddle is on. 2K straddle is on. Shout out to Sammy in the chat, one of our favorite dealers, probably one of the most famous dealers in the world, and tournament crusher pro. Hi, Sammy. Four PM Pacific is the start time tomorrow. One thirty pregame, four PM real game. Bet. Bet and a call. The bet is too large. That's good. 
How much? 30,000. West than ever caught, baby. I didn't think you had it. Yeah. And another nearly 100K <laughs> pot for Bobo oh, against Brad. Two pair are good, right? No good. Two pair versus second pair. Man. Let's take a look at the updated numbers here. Brad up 300 bucks. He has just been grinding low variance near even the entire night. Shout out to Brad. He's up $300. He could cash it out and go fill up his Escalade with some gas. Bobo stuck only 200 now. Andy down 550. He's clawing back. He was down 800 at one point. Wesley, all of a sudden, the big winner, up 230,000. Oh, I'm not, I'm not You're just free, Andy. Yeah, save some money. Save a little bit of money. Save, save, save. You're free to watch Bobo Ignite. <laughs> <laughs> the man in the smiley face hoodie. Tony G is playing. For those that aren't following all the Twitter updates and whatnot, Tony G's in. He is there tomorrow. Tony G is on his way right now. Okay. And uh, we, can't yeah. be, we couldn't be more excited Come to have Tony G be a part of this. No? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. To our savior, BB. Yeah. Check, check, check. Another water. Brad looks a little frustrated. Yeah, yeah, I get it. My turn for purple lips, Andy. There we go. There we go. So how many hours is left? Next time, we may add a wig up. A lot. Forever. You will come back. Four or five. Maybe you will wig up directly? No. I'll come okay. back okay. now. I want to make sure that the alcohol is going to get that. Maybe go to Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Maybe five. You're like a bunch of five kids. Wig up will be a little fun. Yeah. If you're just joining us, this is part two of the stream from two Fridays ago. We had Mariano Cooler Andy in a huge pot with a flop straight flash against an ace high flush. And then Brad comes out of nowhere and enjoys the game late at night and runs up $200,000 into something like $780,000. And he is back down to even right now. Two pairs. Two pairs. Oh, bad. <laughs> Uh, I should not all in with ace kings. Yeah, never. Yeah. No. Too deep. He has no jack pair. He has no jack pair. Against him, it's not good. Yeah. Against every other player, it's okay. Oh, I know. Andy is good. Yeah. Andy, of course. Andy against the king. Last time you against the elbow. I shall be king. With Andy going to go to the house, I'm going to go to the house. If you go to the house, I'll go to the house. 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 I'll go the three bet from the button. Charles calls with Jack 10 offsuit in the cutoff. And this is going to be over very quickly. Yeah. 
<laughs> Look at that stack for Francisco. <laughs> He's ready to fire it in. <laughs> Brad raises to 5,000 on the button with ace five of clubs. And Andy calls with the queen jack offsuit. Oh, what a flop. What a flop. And he just gives up, and Brad picks one up. Yes. Yeah. Fucking TV. New, new, everyone wants to do the same. How much? 5K? Huh. Yeah. How about? Mm. 5K. 5K, Charlie. So the game is quieting down a bit after a period of absolutely insane action. The players are settling down. I think they're tired. I think you can see that Brad isn't pushing the action quite as hard as he was. The players have been playing for over nine hours at this point. Calling Bobo's three bet with King Deuce offsuit. Doesn't flop anything. He's gonna have to let this one go. And that's pretty ace, much ace, how ace, Brad ace, ace. has been losing his <laughs> he's grinding his own stack down just by calling these three bets. <laughs> Seven thousand, ten thousand. Doesn't flop anything, he just folds. Next time we ask Brandon to come here together. Yeah. Okay? Sure. Pump it up. Make it 22 large. Here we go. $22,000 raise from Brad with the King Jack offsuit. Charles was the initial raiser in the big blind with Queens. And they are deep. I'm all in. All in. Charles goes all, all in. Charles just ships it in. 194,000. All right. And Brad folds. Can I see the clock? Yeah. Oh, you have Charles. Well, you're trying to show, show. Sure. Charles, please show. Oh. Oh, oh man. Oh. Give an ace. Thank you. I don't know. Oh. Good Thank you. I thought you were. Did I raise to 80? One of my cards was different. You got my there. We're And Charles just said in Chinese, we've played together too much. 
referring, of course, to Brad. Charles, Bobo, and Brad play in the same home game, and they have played a lot of poker together. So even though Brad is new to most of us watching, because this is his first appearance on a live stream, he is a regular player in private home games. $10,000 squeeze with Jack-10 offsuit. And Nick Airball is going to gamble with the 5-6 of spades. Oh, wow. Check, check. Bottom pair for Airball. Open-ended for Brad. 20. 20 large. That is a gin turn for Nick Airball. Oh. But he is just going to call. Oh, wow. Check. And Nick makes the flush on the river. How big is he going to go? Fifty. $50,000 into 62. Of course, Brad folds. Doesn't have anything. And Airball takes home a $32,000 profit. Give me 4K. Yeah. White? Yeah, white. No, Brad's white. frustration just continues. Remember that <laughs> at one point he was up $580,000. Yes, that's right. A couple of hours ago he was up $580,000. He had a mountain of chips in front of him. He was raising every hand. He was super action. And he has just lost all of his profit and then some back to the rest of the table. You got a feel for Brad because yeah, he's gambling. Yeah, he's giving a lot of action, but just like anyone else, he wants to win. He's here to win. He's here to try to run it up. And he, he did run it up and he was crushing and now you know, he's not really getting equal action back and it's frustrating and you got to sense the frustration from him and you got to feel for him that it's hard to get there. It's hard to get from 100K to 700K, you know, and stay there Very for a hard. while. So it's tough to play now when you have 100 or 200K in front of you when you had 700, 700. a couple hours ago. Nick Airball just said, let's continue playing after the stream. I don't want to stop. Brad with the Queen Jack suited makes it $10,000 from the small blind. Somebody said, would love to see, Antoine said, would love to see Hands and Doug Polk in the game. They are playing together on Monday, day four. That will be Doug Polk and Hands in the same game this coming Monday. Top pair here for Brad. And takes down a small pot. Question from Felipe Felipe. Ben, in private home games, do they have a dealer or do they deal themselves? I think it really is a question of, you know, what stakes they're playing. I think that in most home games, 5, 10 and up, there's a dealer. I think in any game, pretty much, there's a dealer. I don't know of games these days where they deal themselves. It would have to be like a small game with their family or, or friends where you're... It's and really, like, literally, yeah, just your friends. Like when I watch you yeah. Like 600 one tomorrow, and I'm like, yeah, this is just fucking every day. Have we ever played in a game where we've dealt ourselves? No. I'll take the over on half a million. It was on a, it was already 30 like, I've played, like, Big Deuce and before. And right, right. 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 <laughs> but not, well, not like, a real poker like game. Or, you know, maybe back in the day, if I had, like, two friends over, we are playing in my apartment or something. Right. But not a real, actual home game where we're playing for real slates. <laughs> Which hand is that one, Ryan? Yeah, the fuck? Six ten. Six ten. Told you, and Wesley. Six ten. Huh? Six hundred and ten k. Six hundred and ten k? Yeah. Shout out to Who yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Andy's lab call. I don't think he's up. Give some love to Ben. Left. Appreciate yeah, it. Like, yeah, like I bet one. I bet one twenty. One twenty, and he went on for two fifty. 
255. So it's only 100. You slap on it and you slap him. Yeah, I mean. And you show your hand and he show his hand. Put the snap on. Yeah, huh? snap on. Yeah, that's why I snap on. I do the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Of course, of course, the players are talking about that hand that Andy lost to Mariano. It was a six hundred and ten thousand dollar pot. And you can watch that hand on the Husser Casino live channel. Mariano flopped a straight flush in a four bet pot, and Andy had the ace high flush. If I and that if happened I want, earlier in this session. Ship it. Like with me and Ben. Ben. <laughs> so I was like, Andy showed. Andy showed first. Andy showed. Yeah, well, ship it. Same thing. Like he, he said it all under the river, and I just really just turned my cards over while throwing <laughs> the chips. And of course, Nick Airball is likening it to the hand he played against me when he had uh, the top minute. full house and I had quads. Yeah. That's what he's talking yeah. about right now. You don't want to go all in with King. You're not going to fold. Don't fold to me, please. <laughs> he won't. <Yeah. laughs> don't worry. Like he won't fold to anyone else yeah. here. Yeah, yeah cause don't the bluff. All I know is if I have a straight flush for Sandy's not flush, I'm getting paid no matter how much it is. 99% hey wait. Yeah, you're right. 95%. 95%. Yeah, yeah. Donation. No more donation. Let's take a Here look at the cumulative winnings. Wesley up 240, the big winner. Airball, the only other one up over 100K. And down 560, Boba down 190. Brad now down 44 after going up 500 earlier. 585 actually was up. And he's still the big loser at 561,000. But he's made he's made a little comeback. You know, he was down over 700,000 just now. Brad at the top of the VPIP stats, 75%. Wesley and Francisco at the bottom. Charles with the jacks. 4,000 from the big blind. You don't care about me? Okay. Yeah, have a good one. He really just one. takes Fuck. it down. You have a good one. <laughs> How much? This one can have a 2K. 2K? Yeah. Sure. I want to check right now. Two more. Zai Jelly. Zai Ni Champion, actually. Hi, you might Zai Jar. Zai Ni. Fold this one. 1,000? 1,000 from Airball with the pocket nines in the cutoff. And Brad is going to defend 5-3. Oh, he is going to 3-bet with the 5-3 of clubs. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. We can't play for a 2. Either one Airball puts in the 4-bet, and Brad calls. Oh, look at this flop. A pair and a flush draw for Brad. And an over pair for Airball. There is going to be carnage in this one. Brad also has a gutter to go along with his pair. He just rips it in. And Nick Airball calls. There's 310,000 in the pot. Brad is all in for all of his chips. And he's a slight favorite. And he is a slight favorite with the combo draw. Oh my god, that's a flop. How many times Oh. Oh my god. 
Two pair for Brad. Oh, and he gets counterfeited by air ball. A seven on the river. Air ball's nines are still good. And he holds. I have one. Nick Airball takes down a three hundred and ten thousand dollar pot. Wow. And he has taken all of Brad's chips. Brad was up five hundred and eighty thousand dollars a couple of hours ago. And he has just been felted. No, I'm, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. He got his money in as a slight favorite with a very respectable hand. Nice hand. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Sucks. You know, Brad put on right. quite the show. Yeah. Gave it all nice he got. With all. It was very fun. And he is done. Shout out to Brad, an absolute legend who just put on a show today in his Hustler Casino Live debut, and we hope that he will be back soon. And there you can see that Charles was willing to loan him 200000 more, but he said no thank you, and he gives it right back to Charles. He is done. Brad, a man that knows a stop loss when it's time to call it quits. And very disciplined. It's respectable. Yeah. Oh my wow. god. Yeah. The nuts. Very respectable. Don't you wish you had a stop loss, Ryan? Uh, I don't know if I wish or not. This <laughs> sounds brutal. It sounds just painful to have a stop loss. Who does that? I thought there was no Shout out to Brad. Just quite the performance by him, and we're excited to see uh, him in these games. After the three came, I thought he gets it in as a favorite in his last hand against Nick Airball, and unfortunately, he loses the flip. Airball scoops, and Brad is felted after being up. Five hundred and eighty thousand dollars in a one hundred, two hundred, four hundred game. Just think about how many big blinds that is. That's a lot of big blinds. How do you think Andy's feeling right about now? Uh, probably disgusted that, that you know, his money was uh, yeah, I mean, distributed between Nick Airball and Charles, Charles Bobo, Bobo and, and not back to Andy. Oh, Andy got a little bit back, but not, not a lot. Oh, man. He, had, he, had, he was up 500 at one point. Hmm? He was up over 500 at one point. Yeah, it was all yeah. And now he's, he left down 200. Literally just... A seven hundred thousand dollars swing <laughs> for Brad. An incredible debut on Husser Casino Live. I don't think we've ever seen anything like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it definitely was very reminiscent of Keating. I would say. Oh, this was worse. This was crazier than Keating. You mean better? It was. Well, yeah, better than Keating. It was crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, th that's the only comparison. Um, Keating, you know, his first two shows, the first one, the one that I played in, that you played in, right, when you won the big pot, he was pretty crazy that game. And then there was the, the Mr. Beast game. So, it, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, Brad's performance is amazing. Um, but, but definitely those two Keating shows were the only ones that you could even compare to this. Brad is like the arch Keating. He's the he's more Keating than Keating. The players, of course, are uh, going over the hands and they're asking each other what the pot sizes were of all the hands that Brad lost. Wesley's asking how many $300,000 pots and $500,000 pots he lost. 
five. Call. Show me. I have four hours. Van on tilt in the chat says, will you give equity to Brad, Ryan? <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Donald Edie in the chat says, Ryan knows exactly how Andy feels getting wrecked. And of course, Ben does too. I wish I could say I didn't, but I do. Call. Call. Okay, hands up. Thank you. Andy, card, please. Check around. Four. Okay. Sorry, they're asking if you can move your chip. Are you getting them? Andy looks crestfallen. Nick Gerbal is now the big winner. 248,200 in profit after stacking Brad in that last hand. His nines holding up against Brad's combo draw. Andy still down 560,000 at the other end of the scale. Wesley also having a very good night. He's up 240,000. Brad, very disciplined. After losing $200,000, he decided that he would go home and that he had had enough. Very respectable. For all of you watching at home, please gamble responsibly and never lose more than what you can afford. Very important thing to do. Two pair. Nice, nice turn and river. Nice enough. Brad was sitting on a stack of seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Just over two hours ago. $780,000, that is a staggering, staggering downswing in a very short amount of time. Nick Airball got the last of it. And he is so far the biggest winner of the session. Alex Weber in the chat says, Ben, do you know if it was Andy's first time playing with Brad? I had a chat with Andy after this session ended, and to my understanding, it was his first time playing with Brad. Deal, Charles, then. Okay. Just in time, huh? No more. Mm -hmm. 
来做个广告，我来给做个广告，送点钱，我来露个脸。这这这这就是一个 legend， 他来，打一两个小时，疯狂走了。<笑>其实他的 self control 比较好，也是错的，因为他还有二十万，会打牌的，会打牌。就是他还有二十万，他还走了。Very interesting conversation they're having right now. Nick Airball just said it was incredible that he came and dusted 700,000 inside of two hours. Well, first of all, he ran it up to 700,000 and then dusted it off, but then. Nick made a point to say that Brad showed incredible self-control leaving after only being down 200,000, which in this game, as we all know, and as all of you know, watching the stream week after week, it's not that much. It's not that hard to do. Losing 200,000, you know, on a Friday, it's pretty standard. And Charles replied to Nick Airball, saying he actually knows how to play. He just loves to gamble it up. And I've heard multiple people uh, tell me that since then, that Brad is a very solid, capable player. Like, he knows how to, how to crush, and he just enjoys this style of poker. Don't we all? Mm. Some more than others, but yes. <laughs> I'm, 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 I think I'm, I'm about even. One day we will do a pregame show where we'll have you and Nick Airball teach everybody poker terms and poker phrases in uh, Mandarin. <laughs> in Mandarin? Okay, I am down. They're still talking about it. Bobo just said, I can't believe he just dusted off $700,000. Right, and with that, I am very sorry, everyone, but I am going to have to take my leave. I have uh, a prior commitment, and I have to depart the commentary booth right now. Um, so I'm going to turn you over back to Ryan Feldman. Um, and this was a blast. Did you enjoy having me in, in, in commentary? Yes, thank you very much. I hope to have you again. Actually, no, I don't hope you have you again because I want you on the felt. You want me on the felt. But thank you for joining us. You were great. And uh, everyone in the chat, I think, is looking forward to watching you uh, play tomorrow. I think most of them are wishing you luck. And thank you for being a part of history tomorrow. So Million Dollar Game tomorrow. Ben's going to be there. He's buying in a million. And I know you're excited, so go get some good sleep and be energized for tomorrow. And if I get felted for two million, there's always commentary. That's right. We can grind it back slowly. Grind it back up. All right. So this is Blank Check Ben signing off. Um, I will turn you back over to Ryan Feldman. This stream is not over. We still got so, like two hours left. Yeah, we still have two hours left. Keep watching. Uh, keep hitting that. Keep hitting that like button. Keep it going in the chat. All right. And I will see you all tomorrow for the million dollar game. Thank you, Ben. We'll see you then. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Let's go. 你跟他讲一下呀，他还在吗？他在哪里啊 ？I was I ask him to come back。不是，看看那边有没有。Snap。Snap。Okay, take it back. I m i s r e a d my hand. That's right. <laughs> 
I, I really misread my hand. I thought I have a four nine. Yes, then you should bluff. I thought I thought I, I, I yeah. No, I thought no, you no, was I, kitty. No, no. <laughs> I thought I have a four nine. I thought I have a four nine. It's a five nine. You're watching Hustler Casino Live, 100, 200, 400 Super High Stakes action, continuation of a game two Fridays ago. Uh, Brad just left us a little while ago, uh, went from up 585 to down 200, and called it a night. Um, the rest of the players are still here. You see Charles and Wesley there, Francisco, Nick Airball, and Bobo and Andy. So we still have six players, and they are in hour nine now of this session. Four? Four. We're watching the after hours. We aired the first six hours live two Fridays ago. Charles and Andy going to play a three bet pot. Very dry flop, and Andy with top pair checks it back. And now a gutter for Charles. Let's see if he fires. Yep. So a good check back by Andy, getting some value. Well, that's a good river for Andy because he could possibly get paid now. And there it is. Andy gets some value, plays it perfect. Wins a nice pot. For those asking in chat, the stream starts at 4 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. It's pregame at 1.30, the actual game at 4 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you tune in then. Where is it? Brad? Where is it? Where is it? Where is Call. Call 800. Call 800, you said. I fold. Five, okay. How much? Five. Five, okay. Ooh, perfect throw. First PLO. Are you surprised? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Five star. Uh, next week or in two weeks? Let's do 501k PLO with Brad. So next week, low Friday. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why he record. He just because game is sick and he wants to record it for later. Because he said he was gonna record something next Saturday, mm -hmm. but instead he'll do this because this is better, juicier. All right. TV is gotten. Still juicier. We have BA. I think Ryan like like my how I stack my chips. BA? Mm -hmm. BA? BA. Where's BA? Oh, BA. Andy. <laughs> Bad Andy. <laughs> Bad Andy? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, he had me calling fucking 19,000 people up with 910 off and shit, man. <laughs> fucking calling 40,000 on the flop with nothing. It's just B -B and BA. Out, brings out the gamble on me. I feel you. <laughs> Trust me, if I hadn't just lost 2 million, I would have been down 500,000 with you. But thankfully, I've just lost so much, I, I, I don't want to torture uh, it. I saw the hand against the queen. The queen yeah. 9. Uh, oh, no. I, I, uh, King 10 and hand? King 10. Mm, yeah, lose too much, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Were you a King well, 10 ace 4? Huh? Uh, king I see 10 that. ace 4. Yeah. The flush flush. I, like me, yeah. He's agreeing with you that you could have folded the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You make, uh, I, me, yeah, me too. I think same. I we, we're same. Yeah, but you also What's call. What's up, Bobo? Give me a call, ma. Call and then regret. Right? 
喝。大鱼，我我再喝一杯。No no， 我一个人喝。会不会查出来的？我给你开车。You only have the last glass。我我喝很多酒不会喝醉。And I can still show up。好，一半一半。不敢不敢不敢不敢。百分之二十五，第三，呃，好 ，unbalance unbalance 了，百分之二十五，百分之二十五，你不能说不可以。Take a look at our chip denominations there. The 25K chips will be unveiled tomorrow in the million dollar game for the first time. The Kobe's, they're calling them. There they are. The 5Ks are the chocolates. The 1Ks are the, the greens. There they are. Your chip denominations. You're watching 100, 200, 400 action as we get ready for the million dollar game tomorrow. On a Friday with some wine. I call. Call. Yes. Enough. I'm, I'm like going through withdrawal right now yeah. because of him leaving. Like, it's, like you feel withdrawal. Like, yeah, yeah, you, you like feel it already. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna play. Yeah. Well, it's not more just like you want to high end. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow, Maria Hall plays with them. Mariano Hall. Tomorrow, I play Nacho. Did you write? No, I play poker every day. I like Charles. Eat, sleep, poker. Eat, sleep, poker. Eat, sleep, poker. Eat, sleep, lose money. Yeah, I want to raise. I want to raise down the turn. <laughs> you call? Maybe not. I figure out he won. I call. Straight call, of course. Set? Nuts. It's quick. I really feel like JR or someone's going to come through the doors any second now. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, I think just because of like some work stuff, he's been busy and not really able to play. I was trying to get your favorite to come play. My favorite? Yeah. Who's my favorite again? Who, who do you think it is? Uh, the only person who would cover you right now. JR? No, JR? No. Double M. Oh. <laughs> favorite, yeah. Andy, how much you add on? You raised 1K? No. Yeah. yeah. Andy, how much do you have? <laughs> maybe Garrett. Maybe Garrett. Put the 2.7. No, Garrett, you yeah. Garrett. Wesley, it's time for you to add a million. No? Because the stream came out when Ryan's showing the stream. Brad left, everything was dying down. We need something to bring it back. So okay. add, add two million. <coughs> I'm in. Everyone's in. Really? He will come down? I think, uh, yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, I'm down. I'm trying to give him action and then I got whacked. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got slaughtered by him. We should play tomorrow here. Huh? We should play tomorrow. Well, you gotta ask your uh, your buddy. I don't think he's gonna let us play. Who? <laughs> Which buddy? If we wanted to play here tomorrow, Andy, on the stage, we could. Right. Yeah. He doesn't he? Doesn't he? Isn't he like controlling whoever plays? I'm saying we just that game could go somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> if we were gonna play a super big game, it would be. Yeah. We could have priority, obviously. 
recorded. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but, like, if we were going to play a bigger game, I'm 100% sure we get priority for the table. Mm -hmm. For those still bigger confused in the chat, the lineup sure. is pinned to the top. Yeah. Tony G is in. JRB is in. Check the thumbnail on, for tomorrow. Check our Twitter. Uh, check the title of the stream tomorrow. Check the message that's pinned in the top of the chat. The lineup for tomorrow includes Tony G and JRB. Tony G, JRB, Blank Check Ben, Charles, Stanley Tang, Rob Young, and Brandon Steven. That is the lineup kind of tomorrow. Like that's over. right. Tony G and JRB are going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Million dollar game tomorrow, so? 4 p.m. Pacific. Like the lineup like is set. because we're shorthanded. Like usually shorthanded is after the stream ends. Maybe the stream is continuous playing. <laughs> stream is over, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, recording. The recording is on. Hmm? Maybe Ryan decided to keep playing the stream. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't? What time is it? Like 11, it's like 12. Now it's 12? 11.50. 11, so, yeah. Usually... Ed's at 11. Yeah, yeah usually 11.50 will still play, right? I don't know. Maybe, yeah, two hours uh, delay, right? It's over, it's over. Trust. I, I was on my phone when I smoked. Ah, okay. Oh, it's over? Yeah. Like, so what's the last hand? I didn't look at the... <laughs> I, I just saw that it was over. I didn't look at the last hand. You checked the last hand. I don't... So, why so would I know, check the last hand? So you know, is that hand on the stream or not? Mm -hmm. You just ask him. Ask Ryan. Can you ask Ryan? The, the, ask him what? Is the stream over today? No, the, the hand, Andy's hand. Andy's hand, Andy Five high, 200, 200, 200, 200 in the river. river. That that hand hand. Oh, Brad Brad Four. said what he had. Yeah, it aired. He had Queen Nine, aired. he said it. Queen Nine? Yeah. Queen Nine? Nuts. For well, how? Nuts. Uh, Queen Jack, yeah. Happy. Brad told Andy before he left. Yeah. So that, that hand is included in it's the on air, right? stream yeah. or not? Yeah, it was on air. In the really? Wow. Crazy, man. Well, now Andy feels worse. <laughs> no, no, better. Andy, no, better. No, he, he wants to erase the hand from when the I was, video. When I was smoking? Not just from the stream, from my brain, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. from, my, from my memory, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> we should have mentioned it multiple times. <laughs> Andy, will you make that hand into your like, video channel? Of course, of course. <laughs> have to. <laughs> How much? Let, let, let's, let's comment it together. <laughs> Me, Andy, and Erba, and Bobo, we coach together. <laughs> Uh, like a like a rap rap group, <laughs> idol group. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's make some comment together. Thank you. Four. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lady gaga. Oh my lady gaga. How'd you make ginger? It was popular in China. Mm. Once. Mm. Once upon a time. Oh my lady gaga. <笑>他平时也这样打啊 Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, good call. Hmm. Check. Okay, good call. Good call? Let me see. Check. 
Go race, go race. You got a brown underneath that side. Oh, yeah? Thank you, thank you. You shouldn't have said nothing. No, I just kidding, I just kidding. <laughs> I know you're shy. You're shy, I'm doing it. Thank you. That's for you. Thank you. Because you tell him what the fuck, 500. Yeah, Mr. Fah, yeah, Mr. Just King Jack. Two, 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 two. Okay. Can we get a big one? You try? No. A try? If this A try, will it be higher? Huh? And this two? I just said A try. Two players. Two players. You don't have one. No, no. You're not there. It's not that big. It's 30, 40, 50. What do you want to pass? Oh, 50. Sorry. Ha 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 ha. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 五十万的炮，我操！哇塞，的眼睛那么大，五十万的炮。Yeah, that's fourteen. 全满了。Yeah, where's the chip? Four. How much? Four thousand. 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 How much can I lose? You can lose like 300 or 200. 200, right? How much can I lose? He almost said one time he had over 500, right? He had 750 or 800. He's a big guy. Yeah, I know. I have one time. 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 Where are you? You don't want to go to the north. You're in a place where you know. 200, 400, 100, I have one time. Is it in the middle or in the middle? Perfect game. Perfect game. 我喝醉，我喝醉了，播了的，我喝醉了。是什么？是扔了没好怎么着？没有，两百四百没有安迪的。那么小，十八十万，就一百六十万的播。对。对嘛，就是翻钱，蕊来蕊去。他那个肯定他们都抓。然后翻后。两百四百八百一千。翻后就三枪，对吧？没有，克洛普我直接奥一一八一八就是。对。我操，你直接奥一啊！翻天打到了十七万。我翻天直接累死十七万了。其实已经小四十万，他没有，他没有奥运对吧？那没必要奥运的，十七万了呀。他有多少？坤坤 ，no pair。他问我一百五十万吗？我操，你们这个局搞得有点大。这哪里大？跟你几个亿 BTC 一比，根本就是。没有啊，我那个那个是加杠杆一伙，现货的
这里，而且是牛市最顶峰啊，六六七万的时候我开了那么多，现在开不了。I thought you fold, huh? I thought you fold. Oh no no, I I I I want to fold. Kidding, kidding, kidding. I don't know how to fold. I want to fold. 你你想你比特币六万那个时候对吧？一百个比特币就是六百万美金了，对吧？一千个比特币就是六千万美金了。I want to fold this hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fold. Good fold, Andy. 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 手手里拿着货嘛。I think you like James. 比特币还好拉着，现在币亏了。After that, that hand, we'll see. 现在币亏啥 ？Maybe lose it all in one hand, Mr. Charles. 是的。我前段时间买的三张比特币百分之四十了。现在不敢用它了。我是搞了那个拍拍，搞搞了百分之十，结果还好。Five and five, six two. Oh, I have five. Jesus. You have my odds. I don't have to raise. 1600. Oh. All right. So Where's your chips? Over here? Oh. You need? No, no, no. I thought you have... You need to have to raise the money. 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 啊、Bobo taking it down with the open ender, taking down a small pot. We have about an hour and a half left tonight. We're about two and a half plus hours you know in. Ryan is to the show. Ryan should play in this game. Ask him. Yeah, ask him if you can play. We need to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tell him I'm getting a little drunk too, and like I'm kind of I'm way high already. Sorry guys, I'm up here commentating, not gonna play. Or we break the game. I'll break the game. Or break the game. Yeah, Ryan, come or we break the game. Yeah, it's okay. Until until next time. I can't wait. They said wait one minute. Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. So before the game today, someone texted me, some, like a celebrity, and they said, we have small game today, come play. Bring Ryan after the stream. Small game, 5-5, five, 5-10. Five, 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 I know, I know. I, no, I told Ryan. I have to go, my mom's in town. I don't. I want to go home early. And then today he's still here because the game, because the stream. Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he coming? Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He said game's too tight. That's why we need him. We need a big fish. Yeah, we need him. To, we need a new bad Brad. We need BR. Bad Ryan. BB? BR. BR. 1400. Heads up. No, it won't. Okay, but let's play 2 4 4. 2 4 2K NT. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Andy, too much fun. So sick? So sick. What I'm doing? What I'm doing? Let me get that rock. What am I doing? Oh, thank you. One, two, three. Now we really need Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. now we really need Ryan. Game will break. Shorthand is fun. Okay, give us the card. Can we switch the can we switch the two four four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just deal a card. Hand. Let's do next hand. Okay, just next hand's fine? Yeah. Okay, two four four. Doesn't technically matter if we're gonna keep I'm playing okay. like okay. I just I think it's Charles. I just oh. So Francisco is gonna leave and we're gonna be five handed. And they're gonna change the game to a two blind game, so it'll be two hundred, four hundred with a bigger Annie, four hundred big blind. Two four four. Two four. Maybe twenty. 
So we're down to five now. We got Andy, Bobo, Charles, Nick Airball, and Wesley. Do you guys want to do two for 1K? 1K is maybe good. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, two for 1K. Is that okay? Two for 1K? 1K you want. We have not all the stack yet. Yeah, here. All right, so the game just got significantly yeah. bigger. We're gonna this have a 1K big blind Andy. So 200, 400 with a 1K big blind Andy. That's two and a half yeah, big blinds for Annie. That should yeah, create better. some more action. Two, four plus 1K. Okay, a That's yeah, equivalent of probably 300, 600. Now I have chance to. Or maybe a little more. It's actually probably 500, 1,000 without an Annie. 3, 6 with a 600 Annie. Those are the similar stakes, 2, 4 plus 1K big one. Annie. This is a good format. Where's Ryan? We need him. Please, Ryan, come in. Ryan can play poker? <laughs> no, that's why we want Why do they always play. ask for me to come yeah, down when, very bad player. when they need action? I don't yeah, get it. Why, why me? Okay. Too large. Can you come? Oh. Can I switch to C6? Yeah. You can uh, let him. Yeah. yeah, nice hand. Okay. I'll do C6. Okay. Too large. Alright guys, take care. Take care, buddy. I'm happy you came back. Oh, that's tough. Okay. See you, Bobo. Hi. See you. Andy, you should play the one thousand. You do one of the favorites. You know why? Because they line up. Line up? Yeah. Maybe I'll listen to you. Four hours. Alright. What was he talking about? I don't know. No one really knows. What was Francisco talking about? Oh, he's just saying, like, line up on the line. Well, he said the thousand. The thousand? That's what he said. He said in the thousand. Uh, I thought he was saying, telling me to play that. Oh, I thought he was talking about that. I thought he was telling you to play some tournament because it's going to be such a good deal. Ah, da yu. I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming? Coming. Come. 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 You're coming? Relax, you guys, relax. Relax. How to come? Everyone relax. Don't talk about adult topic. I'm in, I'm in. Yeah. Go to the last one. Go to the last one. Then we tell you. Now we can speak Mandarin. Mandarin only. Oh, oh yes. Then we tell you. Andy, can you speak Mandarin? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Of course. You don't ask him. You ask Andy. He looks more like Mandarin. Andy, can you speak Mandarin? Yeah, Mandarin only. This is Mandarin only. Now, 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 Okay. Uh, I've learned in my old age to have some sense of table selection <laughs> smarts, <laughs> and I know a bad lineup when I see it in terms of me, and I'd be the spot in this game. So it would not be wise for me to sit in a game where I'm the worst or one of the worst players. And I'm pretty self-aware of my abilities. I think I'm a decent player, but I don't think I have any edge over anyone significantly in this game. So at best, uh, it's just not a spot where it's plus EV for me. So, um, yeah, I just don't need to play in games that are bigger than I'm comfortable with, so it would be no point in Joining a lineup like this, 
Yeah, everyone's playing pretty tight. It's late at night, and I'm surprised everyone's playing tight. No one's really gambling, which makes it harder for Andy to win his money back. He has to really grind. It's almost like, you know, everyone's just like waiting to get to the finish line. It's like a tournament final table, ICM implications. That's kind of what it feels like right now. Where's uh, where's my prince? Charles is a Wangzi. Charles is a Wangzi. I know. Of course I know. King, King Charles III, right? No, Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Now King Charles. King? Is it King? Of course. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm not British. You are the only one knows. I don't think they know. You guys know? You don't know? You don't know? I don't know history. He's talking about British royalty in Chinese. You guys are crazy. We need a new king for sure because King Airball is no more. How much are you down, Andy? It's either King Henry or King Charles. King Charles. They can find it out. You lose one million to a guy named Berkeley and you're no longer king. Every king has lost a few battles, Andy. Come on now. Every king has suffered some defeats. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Doesn't mean you're not king anymore. Uh. Andy, you are the thickest of fish. No. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He lost the most. Here's the thing, guys. Oh, my God. We're playing in the game, so we can play this game. Can we? 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 Hey, here's a green we can go. Of course, I'm okay, but I don't think. They're gonna say not only that, the the video about it, and then it's her first hustle. All players agree to play. No, no, it's not about that. She wants us to all agree that we can have our phones. No, it's gonna go on the news. We're gonna get all shit on. We have another law. I have a strategy. We got some It's not because Ryan doesn't trust. It's because people watching talk so much shit. Come on, all players agree to. Wait, can I cigarette here? Yeah, cigarette, okay. Cigarette. All players agree, cigarette, okay. Cigarette. We too? I'm okay, I'm okay. I have a cigar here. No, it's a home game. It is. Magic said, no, no, come on, dude. Just get out of it. I think this is a good idea. If all players agree, who cares? Yeah, all players agree. Internet cares. cares. Only the internet cares. Yeah. Chapel cares. Yeah, Ryan doesn't mind. Ryan trusts. Maybe? No, he cares. He cares because they care, not oh, he yeah, actually yeah, yeah. cares. This is a producer, right? Mm -hmm. Because okay. we, all, okay. we don't care because if we do it, everyone talks shit about you get upset, Let we don't look. Talk. But Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan cares, this is his company. All right. <laughs> Fifty-five hundred. How much is that? Hmm? How much is your? How much is it for? I mean, current stat. Uh, one point two? I don't. I'm not sure. One point. Not even one. I don't think. How much down? <laughs> I didn't ask for that. Not. Not. <laughs> not as much as before. <coughs> thank God. Not much. Just. Uh, not much. Just like five hundred. Um. Yeah. Seven, eight hundred. No, not seven. You, I want to win back. More than I lost oh. that one. Probably. One K. Oh yeah. Last, uh, last Jealousy, week. See, Charles. I forgot. Randy, last week you told me everyone has punk. Yes. Last week me. Yes. This week you. This, this week. Yeah. Me. yeah. Next yes. week maybe. Yes. Charles, tell me what you have. Which one? I have a set. Well, always me. Uh, oh. Three diamonds. Uh, after the game, I, I tell you. Sure. After, after the game. Oh. Text me. Okay. You have my number. Okay. okay. <laughs> Text, Text me. me. Text me to what you had. Okay. Uh, <laughs> say say to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> group group chat. I phone the to you. I call you 5 in the morning and tell you you're sleeping. Come on, dude. No. no. It's okay. We still play. Silent mode. <laughs> Silent mode. Well, how much? 2-4, right? 2-4. 4 plus 1. Hey, today's Silent Jello Street. I'm going to Jello Street. I'm going to Jello Street. I'm
，你疯狂，你疯狂<笑> ，You crazy。Crazy Bobo. Lakers win today, right? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Didn't see. Yeah, Lakers win. I'm watching. Lakers win. I'm. 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 Eight large. Wesley three betting the king ten suited. Charles with ace nine on the bottom. Fung Kwang. Fung Kwang. Any in the middle? He's gonna call. You know how many people texted me and they were like, like so many people texted me and they were like, get me in the million dollar game. And I was like, guys, I'm trying to get myself in. <laughs> Is that Pearl? <laughs> Pearl can I get a seat? Okay. No, dog post rampage, Mariano. What? Mariano get the seat. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, <laughs> they are too good. I don't think Mariano is playing. Why do I get a seat? I'm pro. Shout out to Prometheus Why? Poker, one of our sponsors. Uh, I wish they blocked me because I'm okay. Prometheus is a, a new poker okay. training okay. app. I uh, recommend all of you guys to check it out. If you go to Prometheus.com slash hustler, uh, you can try it for free. The link is pinned in chat. It's in our description. Check it out. PrometheusPoker.com slash hustler. Prometheus has analyzed thousands of hands from your favorite players in Hustle Casino Live and settled the debate once and for all. Who's the true king of L.A.? They're going to show you. They're going to rank the top players. They're going to analyze the hands. You could check that out. That's a really cool uh, free feature they have. Um, but you can also train yourself on you know, how to become a, a, a better player. They, they say that Prometheus is the fastest multi-way poker solver in the world. It analyzes three and four and five-way pots where other solvers just... Focus on heads up, so uh, it's really the only place to train millions of multi-way hands. So play, learn, compete, win. Check it out, PrometheusPoker.com slash hustler. Try it for free right now. See if you like it. The link is pinned in the chat. I think you, you, you see, Bobo, you can smoke here. <laughs> oh. See? So cheap. Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. It's not true. More. 2400. Oh. Make it 7400. All right, let's go. Hi, Chuck. Check. Oh, wow, how are you? It's 5,000. It's battle to five. His bread is four. Going. He's three bad. He's three bad. Three. 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 Oh, fuck. You're trapping me, Charles. Yeah, yes, I do. Yes. Sometimes I just. At least I can show down. Maybe I should back. What's up? You bought it. You should not. Not very hard to pull. Very hard, yeah. Some of them are. Even more than. Hey, hi. Maybe you raise him. 
A 五不同色。Pocket Queens made the same thing. Yeah, same thing. What is it? It's King. 我感觉你没什么牌嘛，所以我让你去发挥嘛。你想让自己有 A King 嘛，对不对？很好的。但我觉得也，我觉得，我觉得 A 还可能也也也不不一定想吧。Kings, Kings, you will also think. Yes. Fifteen hundred. Four. Open ender here for Wesley, middle pair for Andy, top pair for Bobo. We got some action. Yeah, that's the last, right? And Wesley makes the straight and gets paid. Let's gamble, boys. Let's gamble. Let's go. Wesley with pocket kings, and Bobo misses his combo draw and checks it over. And now the question is, if Bobo bets, would Wesley call? But Bobo gives up and, and gives the pot to Wesley, and Wesley continues to win today. People are losing their fucking minds. 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 People
I mean, wait till they see part two, right? Jesus Christ. They have no fucking clue. So I guess my hand got in there then. <laughs> it had to. It had yeah, yeah, the, the, the four five got in there. Yeah, it had yeah, to, yeah. 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 <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. But like, they have no idea how it ended. Yeah. Even we don't know. Maybe he'll come back. You never know, Brad. One time we were playing, he left, and then three hours later, he just came back. Really? Okay. Or was it here? Vegas, but like the same thing. Oh, like in Bobby thing or what? No, Resort Store. He just randomly showed up. And he, like, he was scheduled to play or whatever. He came, played like two hours, three hours, lost. And he was like, I'll be back. Or he's like, I'm leaving for the night. And he left. And like, three hours later, he just came back. He just played all fucking night. He played like the exact same, just like didn't get to play. Anybody wearing a Hachimura would be funny, man. Hobo wearing it. Charles wearing it would be funny. We come now with upswingpoker.com. Ni No. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'm a member of this site. Charles Dark Spoke. I'm a member. No, don't, I, don't say I that think, on stream. <laughs> I don't pay $99 get... every month. No, I, we're splitting it, Charles. Come on. No, no, no. Charles. I, I, no, Charles. Three way. Yeah. Double, yeah. Said, sure Do double said you'll never be his member. Yeah. <laughs> double cancel your subscription. That was a lot, lot. You got a lot of good students. Okay. <laughs> 1400. Charles, all I, my poker yeah. skills learned from Doug. No, I, I basically I learned the mixed game strategy and uh, the PLO metrics, pre flop metrics. For the Berkey challenge, Doug helped me. Like, uh, going into the last week, he helped me a lot. Like he spent like, I think like four days and we did like two sessions a day. Mm -hmm. I will say he is- Did you pay him? No. no. He is incredibly smart. Yeah. And like the amount he helped me improve in like one week was more than I could have, I improved like in the month in advance working with like wow. other really good coaches. Like I, yeah. I spent like a hundred thousand on coaching, like to try to improve. And you lost that two million in one month, right? Yeah, but in the heads up, only one million. Uh, heads up is just cooler. Some situations. Yeah, I just run cooler. bad. I don't. Sometimes it's cooler. Yeah. You spend 100k? Almost 100k, yeah. Coach it? Yeah. I never play heads up, so I don't know what how, I'm doing. How, how much is per hour? What's that? <laughs> I pay a lot of different people. <laughs> well, don't ask me. <laughs> I, ch I only charge 1,500 per hour. Okay. For coaching. Three hours. Don't do stupid. That's stupid. Hey, Tojima. Tojima. Wait, wait, eight high. Eight high. I'm ahead all the way. Really, baby? 100%. I'm ace king. I'm ahead all the I love way. I'm ace king. I all in on the river, you call? I call. <laughs> of course. Straight flash blocker. <laughs> Straight flash blocker. So I said, of course. Of course. Straight flash blocker. I Five of uh, diamond. He's straight already. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you shove, I fall. <laughs> even I, even yeah. I have a straight, I fall. No, it's not. <laughs> Too much. I'm the dealer now. 
Can I take out some milk? Of course. Okay. Uh, a big hit. Sorry. 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 我可以,他要坚持一下。我可以打到天亮。You guys crazy. Uh, you do? Crazy. Uh, what do you do? Crazy. Oh, Harris 2 or 1. Okay, get him So young. Harris is younger than me. Big air ball. Hey. No bluffing. Be careful, you change your name? No. I saw a lot of people trolling you like, Nick Hairball. <laughs> why, 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 why? Why? I don't know. It's funny. It's funny, yeah. Nick Hairball or... I also think it's funny. Uh, yeah. I saw a lot of tweets. I like Nick Brokeball. <laughs> ah, I didn't see that. Don't Nick Brokeball, yeah. <laughs> Lose two million, now they call me Nick Brokeball. <laughs> Those guys are crazy. Too large. Seven large. No hands. Twelve. Nick Hairball. You see one jacket means a mouth. What's I think I'm not gonna shave for like you have a lot of hair. A year. A year? Try it out. What do Ooh. you think, Charles? Become like crazy beard. Two hours. We can play every day. Real sleeper is gone. <laughs> oh, so he's gonna air this game, I think, the day before the million dollar cash game. Oh, yeah. I told yeah. you? That's what he posted on Twitter. Like, the, the day before is the like, day. Like, uh, warm up? I guess. <laughs> Get everyone excited for the big pots. With some big pots. But don't you agree, Andy, that the game plays better when we're, it's like a little bit smaller stakes, but. I, I, I think it plays better when the, the stacks are gonna be a little bit shallower. Like maybe the 500k each or like 400. Yeah, I agree. But I just mean like people play a lot tighter in 248 than they do in like 124, you know? Yeah. Depends on the lineup too. Like if there's a couple guys in there and affects affects it. Like I don't know. I just feel like 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 when we played those games with like Aaron and stuff, they always were 501k. I felt like the games just always were tighter 
with Aaron and stuff. Yeah. Aaron? Who? When Aaron was here, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I feel like the game is better when we play smaller blinds. With deep stuff. Deep stuff. Because then people are happy to play 500, 800K pot. Oh, you said when Aaron's camp game is higher? Yeah. Because we had deep, we had bigger stakes, like 501k, 501k, 2k. Aaron played what, 501k? Players yeah. play couch system. When you were taking a break, we played like 501k every Friday for like a month, right? By the end of the streams. Yeah. It would start 1-2 and end 501k every Friday. Too large. A little big game, right? I'm just saying, I think no game... No big pot, no big pot. No big pot. Yeah, no big pots. No big pot. I'm, that's what I'm saying. The game is better when it's like 2 4 is great. Like this 2 4 1K, I think, is way better than 1 2 4 8 or 2 4 8 16. Andy making a move here with ace high. He has the best hand. He's going to take it down. And uh, Andy, you know, slowly making his way back. He's down about 400. Actually, no, I'm wrong. He's down about 500. But he was down 800 at one point. So that's a win. He's made 300 back in a matter of hours. And that's good. That's a pretty good thing. That beats me. I was, uh, I was uh, a little bit tighter today, but I never, like, when I win, I never go out and... Busty, yeah, no one's good. bothered. You're fine. Good. Yeah, I no. never like go south. Ryan is yeah. just kidding. Yeah. I'll play until. Whatever. Yeah, we, yeah. we know. You, Either I win or lose. We yeah. know, we know. And I never waste time. I always stay there and we keep, know. keep playing. Ryan was just kidding, mostly. Mm -hmm. Keep playing. Bobo's 你的幣多少錢啊?沒幣。那我現在應該賺兩個點。<笑> 一個帳號最多開好像是150萬美金吧 somehow like transfer chips in between so we don't have to like actually do it. Yeah, yeah. And then if, if they can work that out, they have like completely private rooms there. Oh, yeah. Like, you can do the games there? Yeah, like completely private. Private rooms here? We can do the games there. Nice. Yeah? No, no, Lucky Lady. You know where that is? It's like one mile away. Oh, oh I see the same owner, right? Yeah, Sister Casino. But they have private rooms there. Oh, that's good. 
but I, first we see if they can transfer our chips between because we don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. have to take chips or cash between. It'd be cool if they just let us use, allow, allow us to use these. But like even that, I don't think we should want to take the chips from here to there. Like, oh. They should just like, like I think we should just be able to like somehow like go there and get access to our player, our player base. Me <laughs> Ada. 我操，上头啊！我希望你晒的五呀。人家就是买个花而已。啊，好家伙！ Yeah, yeah, 为什么不是晒的五？ Because if they could do that, that would be fucking insane. 晒的五要练十几万。人家就是买个花而已，免费看两张，不浪费一下，免费看两张。<笑> so after so. Charles told me to text Sia and tell her that we were going to keep recording the dot com. So I texted her that. She said, what's that looking like? A nasty message. What did she say to you? I'll text you later, but like a nasty message, you know? And then, and then like, I just ignored it, right? Yeah. And then just now I got up and I went to school and she texted me again. She's like, oh, I thought you were lying about this and continuing. Like, sorry for what I said. Now I'm going to go. <laughs> just like, she's just crazy. <laughs> I'm so curious what the next one is. It's just like, I thought, like, like, I'll just show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't just give me a heads up this time, though. She didn't call you a skank? Yeah, luckily, no. Just so they're being like, I'm not going to do that. 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 I think we're basically just playing 501k. Yeah, we should just play 501k. I don't want to do that for life. How much? Mariano, you know how much? 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. You shoot your motion, sir. I don't know. Sixteen. You're about to get to the end. I usually don't want to play, but I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. I don't want打牌有一个好处，就是会减少我炒币的时间，不然我老想看那个价格，看了就管不住手。在这上面不能玩手机，挺好的。
那天我在做多，大鱼问我能不能做空，我说先不要做空。不过那确实涨了两天，后来跌的。我们结束，都咱们都去吃饭吧。有地方开门吗？现在 ？I don't think so. I don't know. 可以啊，是什么？ But we have to be careful. If we get kidnapped, that's a juicy group. <laughs> juicy group. How much do you need to get for all five of us to be kidnapped? We're gonna kidnap. They're not gonna get out alive with five of us. I think we get a pretty nice number. Bro, Charles is with us. Yeah, don't think. We get a nice number. Yeah. If Charles isn't with us, we're fucked. <laughs> As long as Charles is part of the ransom deal, we're good. Okay. I can call the bodyguard. Bodyguard. If we really need to go someplace, we should not cross. Yeah? I just hired a bodyguard. You check? Oh, you told me. Yeah. You start after the summer. Bobo picks up a small pot with. Metal pair. Everywhere. I'm just gonna hand it to me. How much for you? After the stream, I'll tell you. So tomorrow we're gonna be playing 501k with a 2k big blind Annie. That's a big near me. Near. Big blind Annie. 6k stand up game every two hours. We decided to have them live nearby. A million deep, everybody minimum. Why? I mean, Just how is this game not going to be action with the lineup, he, with the stakes, with the yeah, depth of the, the stacks, with the big line Oh, so he don't want to. No, he's fine. It's going to be anything, madness. It's going to be mayhem. Prefer, and we're excited prefer, to give it to you uh, tomorrow, right? 4 p.m. Yeah. Pacific. The million dollar game. It's First good. time ever in also like, like US TV like, or streamed history, you're gonna see shit, everyone I buying it in a million. Tomorrow it all starts. Oh, 4 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. Million dollar game right here on Hustler Casino Live. Plus, I mean like uh, just like too much attention on, uh, on public. I don't know, like I mean I'm sure you get that when you go out, right? People stop you all the time. Yeah. Like every time. I never carry money ever. I never I mean, Me neither, but yeah, like I like I don't I get nervous that people will think that I would? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Especially because like I'm a little bit more like boisterous than you, you know. That's true. Number. I don't know. Like I just I guess I guess I get anxiety knowing that people like recognize me when I'm out. I'm like I don't like that. For sure. Maybe wearing an orange Hawaiian shirt doesn't help. <laughs> Bro, I wore this today so my dogs give me power. Where is the? Did your water go? Where is your Versace? You like Versace? Yeah. I wear it next week. How's that? That's a custom made shirt. This, yeah. My yeah, that mother... one costs you a lot, right? Yeah, my mother-in-law had this one made for me. This is pie. Oh, nice. And this is fig. Mm. Oh, yeah, cute. Two, yeah. Very cute. Very naughty. I'm actually pretty fucking hungry. Or large. 14 large. Oh. Can I get the medallions with veggies, medium rare? Just the What a turn card for Andy. Turning the straight as Charles turns top pair. Can Charles get away from this? Andy, 45 lord. still a bit tilted from the day he's having. And Charles does pay it off. He snap calls. 
He doesn't like the fold top pair. 158K pot for Andy. That, got, that pot got big real fast. All right, Lord, we'll get take care, everyone. That's right, the million dollar game tomorrow. It's starting the million dollar game. Tune in. Five straight days of 501k, $1 million buy in action. It all starts tomorrow. Of course, uh, this game was recorded two weeks ago. Eric no longer in the game, Mickey no longer in the game. The rest of the people on the picture will be there, plus Tony G and a lot of other players. Tomorrow, the million dollar game starts at 4 p.m. Pacific right here on Hustle Casino Live. I was expecting to hear him say seven. Yeah, seven ten. is good. It's seven? No, oh. no, no seven. Oh. I have ten. Seven, no sink. Seven, maybe raise you again. <laughs> yeah, seven raise. Charles with top pair and an open ender. And Andy with just a five. He's got over a million dollars in his stack now. Charles takes this one down. Fast poker. I like fast poker. Thank you. 
Down. So this game, it's a big ante. 200, 400, 1,000 big blind, uh, 1,000 dollar big blind ante. But, you know, these five players, it seems like, are just trying to get to the end of the night. And there's been a whole lot of action between the five of these guys since Brad left. <gasps> Wesley with Ace Queen. They're tired, it's late, they've been playing a long time. But you could always get Ace Queen versus Queens, and that's going to. Provide some action as Wesley comes along. Bobo with Queens. And a gutter now for Wesley. <laughs> and Wesley raising with Ace Queen. What is Wesley thinking here? <coughs> and Boa makes the call. We have a hand. Turns a brick. Is Wesley going to keep going? Great card to bluff. Certainly wrap the king and go really big, but it's just in general not a great card to bluff. Will Bobo value bet? Or will he let Wesley bluff? Yeah, he's just gonna go and and bet it and just hope that Wesley doesn't have him beat. And a quick fold from Wesley, he's not interested in making sick plays tonight. We've seen him do it before. OG. Two weeks before no, this, OG. he, or maybe it was the week before this actually, he put on a, quite the show when he bought in 2.7 million and was just all over the place making crazy bluffs. But tonight, a little bit of a different style. Charles out flopping Andy with a six. Oh, the cooler river. It's just brutal for Andy all night. And now Charles is going to lead out 5K. Sorry, 10K. Love this play. Two pair for Charles. I saw this earlier when Andy river top pair against Brad's two pair. And he had to pay off Brad for, I believe, 75 or 85K in the river. Yep. He knows it, but he knows he has to call. And another pot that does not go in his way. Tilt, Sita, tilt. So still better. No. Let me think. Thanks, Tita. 
What do you want? Think. Thank you. What do you want, Nick? Huh? What are you looking for? I wanted to eat, but they oh. ran out of what I want. <笑>我們三個都是都很上等嘛 這今天是<笑> 大鱼家族的对吧 两个都赢<笑> 大鱼打你靠 about 35 minutes I believe left in this one maybe 40 minutes 30 minutes somewhere that and a lot of action in the beginning some huge pots we had we saw a pot over 400k with Brad the last one that he lost to Nick Airball was a flip for 310k uh, just a lot of action every and it seemed like Brad was in a big pot but since he left the action slowed down a bit Wesley I believe still the big winner Fuck. Oh, I can. I have seven juice. Thank you. You trap me. You don't, not, you don't fall. You play the best you could. I did. You play the best, can, but I play more time. better. I play better. <laughs> you play better. No trap, no trap. I'm the worst alive, Andy. 
He's checked three times and he just checked it back. Do you have a gun? Uh, I do not. Could you buy one? I could, but I don't want it. Will you lend it to me? <laughs> You'll never need it back. I'll help you. I'll, I'll blow your brains out for you if you want. <laughs> Tomorrow? <laughs> uh, let me check my schedule. Let me check my schedule. Yeah. <laughs> you want the Glock or you want the uh, Beretta? Both work. Both work. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> He's probably not funny to anyone except us. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's us. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> funny. Uh, <laughs> <笑>我要去吃个什么东西嘞 Good fall. Me, me, good fall. I, I didn't like that flop either. What the fuck? I don't care. I hated the flop. What do you have? Shu Shu. Shu Shu. What fall? Motherfucker。因为我不知道我是会不会输比,我操。你不必了,我是就不会了。他还会他疯狂。No, no, no, no 那這樣的話我有可能是比。啊。Easy,maybe你你送你送four no, hey, four back, four back, four back, four back. You can call three back. No discount. Can you go hand? Two thousand more. No discount for me. No discount. That was a mistake. You don't give me discount. And it was only a mistake because it was a nine of diamonds and not an eight of diamonds. That's why. Huh? It's only my hand only mistake because the flop is nine diamonds, not eight. Shunze. Eight of diamonds and I'm genius. Right. So lucky. Yeah. Queen, Queen no, no, Chuck. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. 
Firstly, three bad me, thank you. Uh, I fold. <laughs> too bad, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> too bad. Charles won't play my hand. Uh, Charles won't play my hand. Touch. Okay.因为你没位置嘛你你中了也赢不了他很多但是你一旦被他出来就赢了这个大数锁真锁锁你合法打太重了打合法打了五六万超音还有还还能丢还能丢打太重了合法打真是哇你在想什么我知道你怎么了哎
Mel. So, so fucking funny. Oh, God, this is You jump to my song. Song You know what you This song war. Why you look at me? Why you look at me? You <laughs> bet, I look you. Two X pot over bet here from Charles with two pair trying to get Wesley to call it ace king. It just seems like Charles knows what Wesley has here. He's just really trying to own him when he has ace queen and ace king, but Wesley might be too good. He might be too good to, to pay this off. It's such a big over bet. Is Charles doing this with a bluff? What bluffs can he have here? So Charles just defended the big blind pre. Calls a C-bat in the flop. Fold. And there's the fold from Wesley. Good fold. Good fold. Good turn. Good fold. Charles check raises turn and over bats river. Like, it's just a strong hand here. Yeah, Wesley's hand is good. His king's a really good hand. But, you know, Charles knows that Wesley's heavily weighted towards hands like ace king and ace queen. And the fact that Wesley could even have ace jack sometimes just shows a lot of strength from Charles. Maybe so a nice fold by Wesley, perhaps if Charles went. Right? Less than pot, Wesley pays it off, but he goes for the really big size. Ace or low ace, save. Right? Good fold, good fold. Open call. Oh, 
Everybody with a straight draw on the turn, it gets checked through, and now Nick Airball gets there with straight in the river, and he checks it. And Charles checks back top pair. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Airball did bet. It's behind the net. So Airball does bet 2K, and Charles pays it off, so a little value for Nick Airball. So Asian is a gamble DJ. Yes, yes, yes. Give me a half a Ah, come on, give me a half 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 a Top pair for Charles. Gutter for Bobo. Two overs back to a flush draw. He's going to put in the race. Good hand to bluff with. Charles going nowhere. That's a brick turn, but Bobo's going to continue, and Charles is going to stick around. If we know Charles, he's going to... He's sticky. No, he lays it down. How does Charles fold there on that texture? Such a trophy board. He just lays it down to Bobo. That is surprising. <laughs> Maybe earlier in the night he doesn't do that. 3K on 2. 
3,000. What's the open 5k? Eight. What? For sure. Kung气球，我操！我今天我的派真的不是。So much juice. Yeah. yeah. Secret mission. Leave all of our money here. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I, I stay in for this. Oh, stream is. Recorded. Yeah, no stream, so we're safe. <laughs> yeah. If the queue number's all, there's no more Friday game. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just, yeah, it's you gone, just ruined gone. poker in LA forever. <laughs> Friday game just done. Actually, you ruined poker forever. <laughs> what? You ruined poker? I said, if someone kidnapped all of us, oh. no more Friday hustler show. Poker's no. ruined. No artists. Yeah, what will they watch? We have all the artists left in the game. Uh, they will save us. I hope so. If you're just joining us, this is a continuation of a game that was streamed live two Fridays ago on May 12th. And it ended with Brad making his introduction to Hustler Casino Live and just putting on a show. And then we ended the game after six hours. We recorded the rest and airing it to you tonight on a long delay. Mariano started off on the original show, won over 300k, had a great night, played sure. three different pots over 500k, ran sure. pretty bad, especially in the last one. Um, but you know, he won a lot of money. He hit straight flush against Ace High Flush to totally cooler Andy in a huge pot. Um, but then got an Aces versus Ace King versus 5 6 suited and got scooped against Brad. And that's one of the big reasons why Brad started running it up. He won a lot of big pots against Andy as well. When we started off, yeah, well, my hometown. Today's show, yeah. Brad was up over 400K, and at peak, he was up over 550, almost 600K, and he was down over 800K at, at peak bottom. But Andy's clawed back. Brad ended up losing his stack. He had 785K at one point. Bobo was down 350 at one point. He's clawed back a bit. Uh, Wesley uh, has just been, like, grinding it up and... And is up a decent amount, and uh, Airball's been up, uh, I believe, a small amount the whole time. More or less, Francisco left uh, an hour or two into this section of the show. Dennis Dave left about 30 minutes into this section of the show. So that's where we stand now. That's pretty much the synopsis. Charles has been about even for a while. And Nick Airball, value betting, second pair here correctly against Wesley's five. Let's go, Wes, small bet. Just the 15th. Henry? Yeah, small bet, let's go. What do you have? <laughs> I pay to find day. out. I, said, yeah, they... I have this. I don't know how can I call. I don't know either. Bluff. <laughs> 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 if, that, if that was a bluff, that's a really good bluff. <laughs> but uh, I... you can bluff. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> we done? Yeah. OK. 还有我十五分钟十五分钟还有十五分钟对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对
still looks like a Victor now. Of uh, uh, just uh, Victor. 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 Victor is a lame. Victor. Victor. Victor is a lame. Oh, you know. <laughs> professor. Professor. Oh, you know, you know, you know, the guy called Victor is a professor. Yeah, we know, we know. That's what we're talking about. So he think what Victor means professor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you think professor? Oh, no. What are you talking about? Now, Bobo, Bobo. Bobo, you're so funny. Bobo, you're so funny. Victor. So easy. A two chip, maybe more. I call. Yeah. So I, I play bad. I play yeah. bad. Today is Sunday. Today is what? Ah, practice one more match. Double board. Double board. We do double board thing. I need to learn PLO. Never win in this game. What's it? Hands up tomorrow. No, let me hold it. <laughs> you want hands up? Can I have number Kai Shin? No, I don't want hands up, but he wants me to play PLO. I said I would rather play hands up. What's it? Hands up. I don't know why, but it really feels like the streams are. Can I beat him? I feel. Hands up. I can't beat him. I feel more chill, even I lost, they tell us I lost time. like 100k after the stream is on, on. They tell us that it's off, that uh -huh. game would be sick. <laughs> None of us know that it's being recorded, we're all talking <laughs> shit. Dude, if this, if this game had gone off stream, it would have been so much sicker. Yeah. But then it might have broken, you never know. I switched to a PLO game. Yeah. I mean, not might have, it would have. <laughs> you know? Why do you think Sai came all the way from Irvine even though I told her? Huh? Sai came all the way from Irvine just because she was desperate to play. It's crazy, you told her not to come, but she still came? You yeah, told her that she didn't believe me. She, she wanted to see. She, she thought I was lying. Holy <laughs> shit. She drove all the way here and then and she just went, oh, went, 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 just left. She said, what fast Sai is going to say, we don't want to go, because we want to continue. She thought I was lying, so she came. What? You know, you told me to give that girl a girl, Sai. Uh-huh. Fuck, I want to say, we want to continue. So she doesn't want to lie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she said, 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 Hundred back to Andy. No, no, no. Almost. You do this, I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. Almost here. Yeah. I never you with big player, you remember it was, uh, Oh, so you fought King King just now? Yes. Good fault. I have aces. Good fault. Very good fault. I have aces. It's key. I have aces. aces. No, AA. Keys. Big, every big pawn. Yeah. <laughs> no AA. <laughs> no AA, Andy. Don't worry. KK? No KK. No pair. <laughs> no AK. None of that crap. <laughs> Always dust. Please, you go all you with me, please. If you do this? Uh, no, 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 this time. Generally? Charles generally. makes the call. King got suited. Bobo with four three spades. And like yes. Bobo or Prince Charles. Charles with the best hand, but Bobo, yeah, like Bobo or Prince has the Bobo gutter and back door flush draw. Okay. I hope so. I hope uh, tomorrow or next time. Yeah, you hope you have Interesting turn. Yes. Straight we'll flush draw for Bobo. Go get me for whatever amount you have. If you're Charles, you got to figure out would Bobo bet flop and turn. 
Still they around with an ace. Yeah. Yeah. Bobo's gonna give up. He plays the board. Charles hits a jack, takes it down. Oh, yeah, Wesley makes a call on the flop with pocket eights. Airball now with a gutter. He's going to keep betting with range advantage here after opening the button. And a nice play by Airball to take it down. Mariano That's impressive. That's the number one. I can't even play one game. That's why, that's why Chu Taylor is the number one. 14. Best player. Whatever you say, Wes. Top game together. Hello yeah. for, for Chu Taylor, for the middle Sorry for the pause, I thought the button was on. No, let me hold them on. Let me hold them on. No, let me hold them on. I legit thought, I thought you were, I don't know why I thought you were first. Too good. That was the second time you played with them today? What's today? No. You played them a bunch? Vegas? All right. All right. He just randomly pops in and pops out. Oh, he's always interested in super big stuff. Huh? Super big stuff. What is it? Because you normally play 1K2K or what? Vegas against Han. He plays private games, I thought? Yeah. Do you want a 
嗯，他吃的筹码越来越少。啊？我说还是今天想过来凑一点的。我觉得你一开始来的时候运气挺好的，一直在赢。后来就是那把送了波波，嗯，送那个拍拍以后。对，那把把我都看上头了。我跟你说，我的运气没有说好。运气好是什么呢？像那天那个。像今天的马瑞亚的这种，因为那种是都是大牌运价牌，我都是三牌进去，有时候中的那就不叫。And take a look at the cumulative winnings. Nick Airball, the big winner now tonight, up two hundred and thirty-nine thousand dollars. Wesley, two hundred and twelve thousand. Andy still stuck four hundred ninety-two thousand, but he made a nice comeback, won about three hundred k back. This was the Brad show though tonight. Thanks to everybody for watching. Tune in tomorrow for the million-dollar game, 4 p.m. Pacific, right here on Hustler Casino Live.